Good morning. Ah, boy, there's still no work to do, and you know what? I'm ready to finish this up. Let's beat this game. There can't be that much more left, right? What's going on here? Uh, yep. Good morning, Delta. Tyler. Danny. Solis. Good morning to you. Pretty sure these are in game. Let's uh, locate Gomez. And you know what? I'm running out the auto shotgun enough. We can try a different weapon. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? Hmm. Just looking at some differences here. Good morning, Spinal. Good morning, Kinsling. Good morning, M. Snow. How many bulls do I get to carry the Chicago chopper? Enough. Big machine guns all the way. Yeah, out of sight, it is 5.16 in the a.m. here. And I realize there's not, there's not like, uh, I don't think there's more than three hours of content left here unless I really stretch it out. And I don't like, I don't like Biden for time when I can avoid it. So let's just, let's just room room our way to the end. Maybe fight a few hordes, you know? Thank you for the macho voice there, Kins. Oh, fuck. Look out of here. These headphones are turned up a bit loud. What do we got? All right, this way. Howdy, Sharko. I appreciate that, L. Nelson. Uh... Not too many people tell me that in security, but maybe through the security of an internet computer screen, it's a bit more soothing. So I appreciate you. Yeah, these places will take me no time to get to, but if I see a horde, I'm fighting it. Free gas right here. Always. I can't fuel. Do I even need it? Yeah, this baby looks thirsty. Need this. That should be it. What are my thoughts on Vim Boys? Uh, not for me, but I guess if that's your thing, rock and roll or whatever. Hey, Captain, I'm on sight. You think you can track him? Yeah, uh, if Gomez is here. Find her, Saint John. Oh, 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 tricky, very tricky. Look what they're gonna do to me. Look at the deception, the trickery. Okay. Let's take a look around. Did he die on the clue? Men coming. Marauders. Shit. 
All over. That is true, Gomez. If you were up since yesterday, tomorrow is now. Indisputable. Can use this. Like in the field of Chicago typewriter right now, it's nice and light. I think the dog toys for some other secret thing, like you collect enough dog toys and it makes Boozer happy or something. I don't know. Ooh, compost. Huh. That's interesting. I had sign I had War Warzone downloaded onto my computer, but then I was like a hundred gigabytes. Fuck up. Oh hey, what's up? Hold on. How you doing? Man, this guy really sucks at his job. What do you got? Garza Dragon scenes uh, says seen that happen on his block. Teen set it up and got a copy. Yeah, anybody said that'll kill people. Don't do that. God, he used to do that during World War II. And yeah, it doesn't just work on people on bikes either. It'll kill you if you're in a car as well. Anyways, answer uh, out of size question. I've not tried Warzone yet. I'm curious about it, but the PC installs 100 gigabytes. Then Doom Eternal came out. I'm like, hmm. They really need, a, they really need to devote 100 gigabytes to this. Like, the, most of the files on there aren't even should I be playing. If I was playing Call of Duty, maybe it would be worth something. Uh, I do have it on my PlayStation Quadruple. I could play it on there, maybe. It'd be fun. Oh, maybe I'll, I should give it a try sometime soon, you know? It looks fun. I like the whole, like, 1v1 with another person to fight for the right to get back into the game. That's cool. Uh, little shops are cool. He didn't see nothing. More importantly, he ain't gonna hear nothing either. Hey. What was that? I think from over there. What what could have made that sound? Men coming! Shut up. Come on, come on, come on. What are they doing back there? Huh? Huh? Gotta move up, gotta move up! Move up, move up! Move up against what? You guys are dumb. I'm gonna circle around and see if you got a back entrance. Maybe I will like it out of sight. I should give it a try. They do got a back entrance. I'll just slip right on in. No sniper for your camp. I'm sorry. Can't have that. Oh, I've been here before. I recognize this place. Good morning, Grin. Yeah, Katie, you got the Remnant DLC. I haven't had a chance to try it yet. Really want to get Days Gone out of the way. 
Because despite what people think about this game, I actually quite enjoy. It's one of my favorites. What can I say? It's got it's got that jank siphon filter stealth with a bunch of zombies in it. I don't know. Some people are connoisseurs that only play 10 out of 10 games and they can enjoy The Last of Us 2, in my opinion. But hey. Part of me is saying just play some Halo, man. <laughs> Halo is fun. I saw something. Oh, man, I botched that. Rock Chuck would have been useful here. There's, okay, I guess I guess it makes sense you would have seen me by now. Come on out! I know you haven't moved. He thinks he's safe back there. I'm Get pretty out. safe Trash. back here. I got pipe bombs. He's on you. Move. Down. Down. I have the lower ground. You stand no chance. Pull back. Pull back. Move back. I need cover and fire. Okay, that's enough exploiting the AI. Let's get in there and fight like men. Falling back. Pull back. You heard him. Ah, shit. Just like Battle Royale. Oh, just like Battle Royale players, they will hide forever. I'd say my least favorite thing about battle royale style games is that the prevailing strategy is a lack of conflict. Now I got you. The less you interact and fight with people, and the more you hide around, the better. And you'd think with all the sneaking I do in this game, I'd like that. But when it comes to multiplayer, well, it doesn't go down like this. I'll tell you that. People aren't brave enough to charge in. And by the time you shot, everybody would know where you were and they'd be throwing grenades at you. It's a little different. What can I say? Come on out. Stop this bullshit, yeah? We know you're out there. We're not going to give up looking for you. When we find you, you're not going to like what we do to you. Yo, mess. You give up. You in here? Be all gentle like. Hey, I'm in here. Say John. Hey. You got to stop. Come on, buddy. I'm in here. Come on. This game's fun for moments like this. Hold on. Yo, mess, shut up. I'm I'm looking at the tower. Oh, you're up here. Good to see you breathing. St. John, never thought I'd be glad to see your ugly mug. <laughs> hey, you got any blood left in that scrawny ass of yours? Ooh, anime Looks guns? Like Gee, I'll think of it give a try. It wasn't all mine. <laughs> okay, are you good to go? Because your bike's still out front. Looks like a piece of shit, but I think it's probably that way before, you know? I could still beat your ass in a fair race. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, St. John. Thanks. Go on, get out of here. Man, Infinite, Infamous Second Son is an old game now? Oh man, I feel old. I guess you're right though. Like, by, for all purpose and meaning, Bloodborne's old. Uh, oh man, <laughs> we're all gonna die. Oh well, everybody else is gonna die too, so I don't feel too jealous or nothing. They'll have their games. We're like, oh man, Call of Duty Warzone? I remember playing that 10 years ago. Oh, uh, I feel old. It's coming. Time stops for no one, except for the watchmaker. I need to pick more flowers and mushrooms. My first playthrough, I didn't even use any of the cocktails. I was like, what do I need all these stupid mushrooms for? What is it like? Unlimited unlockable completion It's like, no, all the different mushrooms and all that. They all just go into the focus. It works. And I'm going to reach the end of this game with way too much good shit. 
Not before Command and Conquer, you want that first? I don't know if you're talking to me or someone else, Katie, but I mean, Warzone's something I could just do a one-off on, you know what I mean? Just play like one episode of uh, Call of Duty Warzone. Command and Conquer is a little different, plus remakes coming out. Might do generals before then. Those strategy games typically don't do too well here. I think something like generals is a little bit more fun. It's got a lot of acting in it. It moves if you allow it to anyways. Maybe put myself through a little bit of training to make sure I play it quickly instead of, you know, the general route kind of like what I'm doing right now where everything is as slow as molasses dripping off a spoon. Yeah, you want a full inventory of those bad boys if you can make one. Napalm Molotovs are horde killers. You do not, however, want a full inventory of pipe bombs because sometimes enemies drop them. Wait, I can. J What's in here? Got it. Must be a secret entrance or something. Nah, it's just. I think maybe there's another mission where a hostage is in here. Probably one of those random events where you find a kidnapped person or something like that. Well. Kate, I think the hype bone in my body is broken. I don't really get hyped for any. I, I'm like excited, you know? I'm like, all right, cool. What's coming out? Neat. And it's got a lot of cool features, but I am tired of being hyped up on shit. I think I could go the rest of my life without hearing, did you hear what's coming out? It's like, yes, it's the internet. It's not like the days where you needed a video game magazine or something, you know what I mean? It's like, yes, I, I'm very much aware a thing is coming out. And the advertisement has told me to get excited and to tell everybody about how cool the thing it, that is about to be out is. I, I like getting excited about things that already exist. I find that excitement for things that already exist leaves you with much less disappointment. Because one, you don't have to wait for it. You can just go get it now. But two, it's already been seen. Would meaning that, you know... You can verify whether or not it's good or crap pretty much instantaneously. Sergeant Hale, they're never going to make a Half-Life 3. There's no point. I played a lot of Command and Conquer. I played a lot of Doom. I played a lot of Resident Evil. A lot of Quake. Half Life. Unreal. You name it. Yet I still can't buy into the hype. Like, it's coming. It's coming. It's like, yes, I know. I'm very aware it's coming. I missed one Nero injector. Wonder where it is. It doesn't really matter. Nah, let's just go to the next objective. Grin, I almost want to play Last of Us because it feels like the uh, namby-pamby hippie version of Hatred. 
It's like you have hatred for the edge lords. You got postal for like the different flavor of edge lord, and then you got Last of Us for the. I wear, I have an Antifa bumper sticker. <laughs> Kinda her, guy. Private Gomez is on her way back. Say, John, good work. Our radio in to check out her. Saint John out. Got a growler on the table. Saint John Akuri, Captain, just uh, checking in to make sure Gomez made it back okay. Yes. Yay! Uh, just doing my job, Captain. St. John out. You guys should all run towards that. It's fun. Why did you ignore it? Whatever. Let's see how well the Chicago chopper does on these guys. You didn't step on my bomb and I put it there just for you, you jerks. Oh! Gotta watch it. And then we do a little loop. I don't even need the bounty anymore. I don't know why I'm doing this for. I'm just killing them for the achievements. Well, not the achievements. They give you really cool guns for killing hordes. Hey, where'd you get loose from? Little jerk. Man, this thing shreds them. You can never count on the meters that tell you, oh, this weapon does this for sh Oh, no, wrong way. This weapon does this. Never matters. Fuck, that guy's got a hook. Oh, it's a big one. No wonder I was getting knocked around. That <laughs> Remview Ranch. Oh, I ain't scared of the hordes, blue fellow. <laughs> Outside says posters for Boomer Edge Lord. Yeah, so okay. Let, hold on, let me get my theory while we got this mission complete thing up here. So you got hatred, and that's for like the black pill edge lords, right? The people are like, oh, life's just nothing, and everything has to die. Then you got postal, like as out of sight said for the boomer edge lords. Then you got Last of Us 2 for the Zoomer Edge Lords. And it oh. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a good game. I don't think the first Last of Us had compelling gameplay, really. But part of me wants to get it. Would you guys watch me play The Last of Us 2? I don't even know if they're going to let me do it, though. You know what I mean? I think I put on so much fucking 
copyrighted bullshit and probably just get taken down anyways. I don't know. If I if they if they won't let me do it on YouTube, I will do it on Twitch. I've said it before. I need to find another horde. So where's Gorilla Man? Come on out. There he is. He's pretty scary. He runs away. He'll come back though. See, he's just hiding. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> he's fun though. Look at him. He's like, oh, I gotta hide. I wonder where he went. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh, he went in for a second one. Now he's gonna run. Oh, oh, oh here he comes. Oh, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, not an instant. Man, I pressed that earlier than it showed. Oh, he's dead. Well, that was fun. You know, watch should play. Well, maybe we'll do Last of Us. Maybe we'll do like a triple feature, right? I can do Last of Us. I already did Postal too. Never mind. <laughs> maybe not a triple feature. Last of Us, then Postal Two, and then Hatred. That'd be a. Uh, That'd be a big one. Also, I don't think I'd ha I could handle it. I think I'd go fucking in I'd, I'd go fucking crazy. Good morning, Cool Blade. I uh, definitely need more ammo. I need to dip into the. Well, it doesn't matter if I dip into this. Fuck, man, I got enough. That's a full refill too. Yeah, actually kind of a big fan of the Chicago Chopper. Pulls through those hordes a little bit better than the uh, auto shotgun does. Mainly due to the magazine size. The amount of bullets you can carry counts for a lot, but your magazine size also matters quite a bit. I have no reason to collect these bounties really, but I mean, I may as well. Watch, I'll be like a dollar short to get the ammo I want or whatever. Is this where you guys lived? Nah, it couldn't be. Well, yeah, I can do Dead Rising off the record, Kate, but that doesn't go with the whole Boomer Edgelord thing that we're talking about. That's different. That's just zombies. Grin says, Underfell, that's where we feed banned viewers to, Hellbent. Well, I don't ban people from watching, but... Yeah, there are, there are certain fellers that ain't really fit to do internet chat. But, you know, I bless their hearts, maybe they'll get better. I don't expect social perfection from people, but goddamn, man. Some folks can be real agitating. Yeah, we don't have to fight these. We can just ride through. I'm not scared of them. Get out of my way. Now, if there's a horde here, that'd be something different. I'd be a lot more excited. Oh, someone shot at me. Big man. Have fun with those zombies. Bomb Neiman. With two bucks, says he beat an Asian man for calling him fruity. He may have just was asked if you had any, like, fruity gum on you. He may have just been a very big candy fan. Because you are a sweet boy, Bob. Stupid fucking dog, you know? Well, Fine, knock me off. I don't care. Where's your friend? Not you. Get 
Chimera Squad's pretty good. Grin, I've been playing it off stream and uh, I like it. I really do. I don't think it's very engaging for folks to watch, though. Same with Gears Tactics. Folks are, eh, I'd say, justifiably not liking it, but I enjoy it. Still, it doesn't make for a very good viewing experience. About as fun as watching somebody play chess. And not like a chess master, right? I'm talking like, you know, this is my third chess match. Please don't make fun of me. <laughs> kind of chess master. Another flower. That was an undead woofer. St. John out. This is bike required, but I've had really good luck just shooting these people to death. This is it. Uh, blue fellow, I'd say gears, tactics, and Halo Wars are vastly different, but I guess I kind of see what you're trying to say. Which way? I think gears, tactics was a little bit of a practice run for the initiative and the coalition, Microsoft's new uh, game development branches. I think it was just a bit of a test run. It's like yeah, make a little game Come based on, off yeah, of something. Oh yeah, okay. They made sure I couldn't. Smart, very smart. I guess it'll be easy. Oh, come on! You're not gonna make this easy on me, are you? Son of a bitch! Don't call me a son of a bitch. Now I got you! Now you're. This song sucks, by the way, but I love it. Now you're oh, messing Mike. with a son of a bitch! Now you're messing with a son of a bitch! I forgot who made that song, but it sucks. Yeah, I know it's happening. Oh, he fucking crashed. <laughs> okay. You know, if you say this game sucks, fair enough, but come on, that was cool. How are you doing, buddy, huh? Looks like you're having a chaotic day, yeah? Just the way you like it? Well, I think I already did. Ah, it don't matter much to me one way or the other. God damn the anarchist. That was fucking cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. Colonel, I've got him. I'm transmitting the coordinates now. Hey! Good work, Cole. Oh, you can't leave me! The freaks! You said I couldn't take you alive, though. Well, stop! Don't leave! Please. Oh, won't let me shoot him! Boo! Please. I I didn't. That was not intentional. I was not trying to make him crash. He just he did it on his own. I gotta go find that horde map because look, hold on, and I look, I gotta I gotta justify myself here. I don't need all the unlocks. But boy, that IDF pup mag upgrade would turn the IDF pup into basically the Chicago chopper. Used to be a really good interactive map on this shit, but now I gotta like go to fucking Eurogamer. I hate Eurogamer, but. 
Oh, credit words do. They made a good map. Or maybe they did. I don't know. It, it hasn't worked out entirely for me. Uh, let's see. I wish this were in order of... Okay, so Beaver Marsh Rest. Have I done that? No. It might be that this Eurogamer map just sucks. It's possible, but... Oh, what am I going to do? All right, so this is on the way to the dumb objective, but uh, yeah, I'll just go this way. I at least want to get the, the pup upgrade. The LMG upgrade would be nice too, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I want to... Unless we're just knocking out hordes left and right. Because last time I looked for the hordes three streams ago, four streams ago, the fucking game just wouldn't give them to me. It got really frustrating. Although... This is a place that they would be hiding at. Of course, empty as it usually is. And... At the end of the game, I'll get like a, you know, an actual like map, right? And it'll just show me where they are on the radar, but that's not nearly as fun as going into the end of the game with like some really sick equipment. At least I don't think so. Even though it doesn't matter. Though I love this game, I have plenty of complaints about it. I'd say one of the bigger ones is, is that it's simply too easy. So where's this fucking horde, man? I think this area is just kind of littered with nice shit. This is a game that rewards you for having decent memory. There's that. Garzit Dragon says IGN is more accurate. Is it? Like for real or are you just saying that? Like have you used the IGN guide for this game to find the hordes and have, can confirm that it's more accurate or... Do you just like IGN? Because a lot of people say stuff like that and it's just like a thing of emotion. It's like, I used IGN before and then on this game, I must pick up for this one. I don't use guides too much is why I'm asking. But yeah, they, they should be. And this is according to both uh, your gamer thing and this. It should just be like in this area in general. So I don't know. Makes me sad, man. I... Like, I should be able to just find hordes and fight them. It shouldn't be this deal of like, well, this time. I guess I could just ride out, sleep it out till daytime, and come and look in their caves and shit. I've had hordes swarm in after taking on hostages like that. You don't always kill them where the game expects you to. They can die. But you never see anybody who you tie up ever again either, so the game prepares for that. I think it just doesn't let you shoot them because they want to portray Deke as not being a complete monster. That's fair enough. Hey, Newt. Who shot at me? Oh, fuck. Hey, you know what? I want out of here. Fuck this. I was going to pick up some stuff, but they wouldn't made it untenable. You 
You know what? Just for fun, let's return the hemlock to Sarah. Maybe we'll run across a horde on our way. And the game's usually nice enough to say, hey, buddy, you're about to end the video game, why don't you? Ah, who cares? I don't want to put that much thought into it, is what I'm saying. I do like that some of this game are quite a bit of it's like a glorified hunting simulator. For example, there's a giant bear coming after us right now. If I've killed these things a hundred times, you're not even scary to me, Smokey. Oh, look, he's gonna get me. Oh, even he's like, oh, okay, fine. I understand. I'm not challenging anymore. Yep, no, you're not. I guess I could sleep at a Nero checkpoint and make it daytime. I'm on the map now. What do they call this one? Blasted says some hordes might not show up till the end of the main story. Boo! I've for sure seen some hanging around here, but I don't know what's done and what's not at this point. This could be fun, but I don't know if it's going to be all that good. Might get me more trouble than it's worth. Getting the IDF pup magazine size higher would be really nice, though. I would enjoy that. Fuck it, I'm carrying the Knock Valley with me. I'm probably gonna regret it, but I'm not too afraid of the hordes anyways. Good afternoon, James Moore. I just want to fight big old deadly hordes. Is that too much to ask? I'm gonna turn to daylight and go check that cave again. And now that I'm playing this again and knowing everything that I know, this game actually is a bit too easy. So maybe, uh, having that stupid big shotgun will be nice. It's not filled up either. Like, you'd think, oh, it's full hell, but no, being short one sucks. Oh, no, all right, I got it. Okay. I would like to see what the seven barreled shotgun does to a horde, although I imagine it's going to be less than impressive. And we know for a fact the stupid little fucking caves like over here, so I'm gonna swoosh on back, and if there ain't no horde, then I pff, fuck I give up. Cause they're supposed to be in their caves during daytime. It's been well established. Good morning, Velecki. I'll hunt them down post-game, too. If we fucking end the game and I didn't get all the hordes, I will go kill them all. I'll do it. Forgot exactly where I went. This way.
I forgot where the caves were. down from all the way back there what was your plan uh come on get serious they got a reacher there those guys are tough i think it was up here I don't know, Dave. I think I'm going to be doing a smattering of multiplayer games with some pals. And maybe find something that doesn't lock me in so hard and wanting to finish it. Man, I completely forgot where those caves are. At least there's some flowers here. I can make a cocktail out of it. Good morning, Aiden. I, I'm looking forward to saying goodnight to you in 15 minutes and good morning and goodnight a hundred more times. <laughs> Always good to see you, man. Ooh, where the fuck's that cave? There was a cave. We all saw it. It was full of shit and blood. And I completely forgot where it's at. I've heard of Maneater, James Mora. That that one's been in development for a long time. Did it come out finally, or, or are they just like previewing it and hyping people up still? Again, I'm quite sick of. Did you hear something is coming out? Things coming out. Aren't you excited for Thing? It's like no, not until I like can play it or see it like for real, not just like some promo video, like an actual. Thing. and even if i can see someone else play it and if i can see someone else play it but they won't let us play it what does that say if anything to me that's like a bad sign now it's like yeah check out so and so play a, a very very uh scaled back version of our game and aren't you excited no I'm not not excited at all okay maybe i can just use the fucking map If the map's good for nothing else, it usually does show you where the smatterings of shit and all that it is. It's an actual, like, top-down photo of the whole map of the game. Christ. Yeah, I have no idea. I saw them caves and now I just don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know at all. Well, fine. <sighs> Shit. Cave at the northmost point of the waterfall, and that's the waterfall. Okay. I'll bite. But I'm getting real sick of this. Shit not working out. Hey guys, did you hear this movie's coming out? Did you hear that this album's gonna drop? Did you hear that this game's coming out? Did you hear this? Did you hear that? Oh, it's coming out. It's, 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 it's on its way. It's gonna be here. Bah, 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 bah. Oh, God. I've heard enough of that the last, like, a hundred lifetimes. Not that I'm saying other people can't get excited for things which are to come out. It's just, it's getting old. The whole hype train thing. Yeah, man eater still TBA. See, that's what I'm talking about. 
It's like, I, I've known about that game for like a year and a half now. That is like, oh, that would be cool when it comes out. And then it's like, hey, have you heard? Who played it? Who, who did they give a demo to? Where the fuck's this cave? Northernmost point. You know what? Fuck this guide. I'm looking for a different one. A bad guide. I just want to fight the hordes. I wouldn't even have the guide normally. I'd be like, I'll, I'll figure out my fucking days. Gone. Horde location. Games radar. Let's try you. You're you're up high. Yeah, sure. Allow ads on games radar. They don't fucking like turn ad block off. Fine. There, I, I disabled ad block. You fucking assholes. Now sh you better be right. Well, it has little triangles on the map. Maybe that's better. I don't fucking know. Uh, no, thanks. I, I don't need notifications from games fucking radar. God damn. Things so pushy these days, you know? Hey, Nelson. Hey, Crimson. If I want notifications, I would ask. And whoever really wants push notifications, they only push stuff on you that they want to anyways. It's not like you, a ubiquitous push. <sighs> this is where they said the fucking thing is. Fucking games radar, you stupid... Scenic byway Nero checkpoint. I mean, I guess I missed a Nero checkpoint, but. Northeast from the scenic byway Nero checkpoint. Horde should be located. This is just awful. Yeah, I, I don't take ad block off usually either, but goddamn. It's, uh. You know what? V YouTube. YouTube it is. And <laughs> First of all, hold on, let me block this. Yeah, fucking block Eurogamer. Get fucked, Eurogamer. Fuck you guys. While we're at it, games radar, yeah. You get fucking blocked now. There you go. Ho hope your pennies were worth it, you pieces of shit. Uh, games guides channel has my back. Probably. Okay, did I do Rimview Ranch? I'm pretty sure I just did because I laughed at that name. Yeah, I did Rimview Ranch. Okay. Hello, Ricky. Okay, Megledo Ridge.
you think hordes would be easy to find and it may just be like oh you gotta wire it from the bottom of the fucking And I've been over here because of the blood and shit. That's Crater Lake, though. I already... Uh, look, the Crater Lake ones, I know where those are already. There's only three of them. This guy's not helpful. I'm just gonna do a general search in YouTube, then. Fuck it. I want to see it in video. Because at this point, I'm starting to feel like the game's fucked up or something. Maybe Chez Official has it. I know where that one is, Chez Official. I'd share it with you, but you know how people are. Okay, Highway 97 locations. This is what I'm looking for. Gracious. YouTube usually is more useful than gaming uh, editorial websites. Okay, which horde is this, Mr. YouTube man? Lobert Draw Ridge. I already did that one. Good. Okay, so we're on we're we're on our way. Juniper Ridge. Did I do Juniper. I did not do Juniper. Yeah, the horde's gonna be shy to me. They know I got their fucking number right here. Yeah, this is not hard to find. Repair my dumb bike, fill it with gasoline, drive down there, and I'm gonna find a horde. I'm gonna kill him. We're gonna have fun. I usually don't even use walkthroughs, but in this circumstance, I kept looking in a fucking cave where they're supposed to be, and they just weren't fucking there. And it makes no sense, and it makes me angry. Not that everything should just be given to you or anything like that, but after a while, it's like, come on, man. I need scrap. Vi be video game it, video game. Do video game. I got a club, Ellie, and Last of Us to get all the hordes. I'll do it. Hello, Co uh, Cosmic Kablonic. Good to see ya. Fuck the GPS, we don't need it. <laughs> GPS doesn't tell you where cars are anyways, that was inevitable. Deer crossing. Oh, I almost hit him. If 
if I don't see a horde here, I'll keep going until I get that one upgrade I want. If I do see a horde here, I'll just keep going until I don't find them anymore. But Ooh, makes me angry. Fuck it. I got scrap. We can repair the bike. I cannot repair the time lost. This kind of place you'd run into a horde at with all the blood. But it's daytime, so they should be in a cave. Colonel, reporting in. Did the, uh, roll get the prisoner? Of course. I'm afraid not. To retrieve him, he's dead. What? Dead? Poison. He killed himself. I'm not sure how. I'm sorry, sir. Don't be. Whatever knowledge you have about us, die with him. Yes, sir. St. John out. Cave or something around here. Yeah, killing hordes is fun, good dude. Love killing them. Okay, so if they're not right here. Then the hordo meter that you get at the end of the game, because I remember it, says it should be over like here. And if they're not over there, then where the fuck are they? So I gotta wait around for the day-night cycle because it takes a whole hour for a day to pass in this game. God, maybe I should come out at night. so frustrating like that that's that's a bitch Well, thank you, Balance Gaming. I'm okay with this game. I like it a lot. I just wish the hordes were a little bit more firm. Well, maybe not permanent, but... Like, for hordes, they sure are, like, not around and really hard to see and hard to find. Think of the term horde, you think, like, oh, a whole bunch. Hard to miss. Nope. It's not the case at all.
Tell me there's no bed here. Can't do this to me. God damn it. <laughs> Oh my god. James, I like the sawmill horde. I killed that like early, early on before I even had any of my really good shit. It took me five tries, but I did it. I don't know if I can bed there. Play whatever makes you happy, balance. This makes me happy most of the time. But at this point, I'm kind of excited to put an end to it. Because of shit like this. We. Found a horde over here. Kill all those people. take anything at this point game throw a horde at me come on where are they at this place is supposed to be littered with them too huh. uh. fuck that up let me guess bikes down there games generally get harder as you play them but i mean this isn't hard hard would be like throwing more hordes at me sequestering them and keeping them impossible to find that's stupid i don't know if that's intentional it could be a glitch if that's a glitch it's a terrible one that's like a a big one no, fine, fuck it. I know where one has to be. I know where there has to be a fucking horde, because I know how this game's supposed to fucking work. We're all the way over here. one horde and I get all excited and the game's like eh well, that's enough for you for now no I want more hell I don't care throw anything at me throw another boss if it's worth fighting
If these guys aren't near Diamond Lake, then I, I give up on the horde fighting. And there are a couple places they should be. But they're not going to be there. But I'll check them. And if they're not there, then I'm done trying to find them. I tap out at that point. Because, you know, the way the game goes, like, well, they're only supposed to be there certain parts of the day. Understood. Okay, fine. They go inside their caves at, during daytime. Okay, well, I'll find them in their caves and shoot them then. But, uh, ever since it got to this area, that has not been how it goes. In fact, last area I went to, it went flawlessly. Every cave I went to, there's the horde. Boom, bing, done. Bada bing, bada boom, fucking killed, done, finished. This area, though, is just kind of like, well, I feel like putting them there, they'll be there. If not, well, too bad, I guess. It sucks. See, that's where they go feed. That horde I've never seen. I saw it with the... Uh, Cory. And it just hadn't shown up since. Shit. And I know where their cave is. And I've looked in it. Hadn't found them. They're always not there. Never there. Fucking Lord, thank God. The other one just fucking in my A. I just don't fucking understand. Oh, this thing sucks. I'll give it one more reload. Absolutely despicably bad. Never bring that weapon out. certain missions are active but it's weird that they bring these ones back when i could never find them even after i saw them earlier like i saw this horde earlier man so i guess there's some rng 
as far as availability goes. Maybe I should just keep doing donuts around the level and just hitting places where I know they may be at. But I'll take forever. That was fun, though. <laughs> 75. I think I'll do like two more of them. And this shotgun, the, the Nog Valley, this thing's fucking terrible. I'm bitching too much, I know. I I could lay off the bitch a little bit, but come on, you know. I, I got I got valid complaints. Well, at least I learned that the the shotgun here is fucking terrible. And this next horde is right next to Diamond Valley. It has to be here. It has to be. And I, I, I fucking neandered around this area for so long too. You have, oh. How could I have wandered around that area for so goddamn long and never fucking seen that horde? It makes no sense. Bullshit, man. They should be here. Oh, it's ending today. Well, this horde ain't hanging out here in their cave, then where the fuck did they wander off to, huh? Fucking get back. I'm gonna go back to my motorcycle, put away this god awful shotgun. I'm gonna have my character take a snooze and then come back here at nighttime. to make cocktails and it's just fucking that one I particularly want to kill because I mean it should be the easiest one to find but they're never home so what the fuck are they doing Shoot! 
Mm, let's see. Hey, I'm kind of busy here. Oh. Well, good choice. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll get out, okay. Hey, Corporal St. John. Uh, how's it going? Hey, Sergeant. Howdy, eh? Oh, okay, then. Gas it is. I'll fix it right up there. Well, there you go. See, see you, Corporal. Gotta close my eyes for a bit. Why are you not finished with my obstacle course? I mean, it's probably meant for big boys, but that didn't seem to matter too much with the sun barreled shotgun. It seems to just kind of be not all that great. I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. Make nighttime occur. Together, keep it together. Moving, yes, Sergeant. Sir. Who are, Professor? Who are? Hey, Corporal St. John, uh, how's it going? Hey, Sarge. Pull that your ass. I'm at least getting the mag upgrade for this pop. At a minimum. And I'll, no matter how long it fucking takes, I'll do it. Because I want it. More than I want to pay attention to the road. <laughs> Good dude says, imagine the other people in the camp witnessing the day change in a matter of seconds. That'd freak me the fuck out, man. I lose my shit. I just go indoors. I'd just be like, okay, I'm just gonna go inside. Clearly the world's ending and uh and put on some music. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, not a half bad idea. Maybe this will calm me down a little bit. Wait right here, baby.
Part of me is tempted to just wait in this cave and just let the day-night cycle cycle through like a couple dozen times. This is a big dumb bear. I've killed a hundred of those. And there's usually like big patches of shit and blood that you can usually very easily see on the map. You guys aren't the horde, you don't matter. Here's the thing, they weren't this hard to find in the previous area. Then you go to this area and it's like, oh, there, there might be a horde here. They live here and they roam around, but then, you know, they're just gone sometimes. Even the strategy guide's like, hey, there, this is where you can find them. I'm not finding them. And I checked to make sure if I'd already did them or not. I will cruise around here till the fuckers spawn in or do whatever. Good dude, yeah, I've, I swear they say shit like that too, I hear it. They're like, what's, ah!
heard one of the kid ones go, Mr. Epstein, no, and I, I didn't get that reference until recently. That zombie standing in midair. Up, oh, down he goes. Well, shit, man, that's just a bummer. I just. Supposed to be afraid of the hordes. I'm not really afraid now. I'm more afraid of never seeing one again. Let's stop here for gas and just cruise around. Charge in. Raiders. I should have been watching for him. And now I got you. Yep, you got me. Why do you keep the gas around? Oh, fuck it. I'll just, oh, here we go. You quit it. Drive all the way over there. Who cares? Where's fucking Ords at? Bring him on. I just need to take on like one or two more of them. I'll get my fucking pump mag upgrade. I don't even need it. But I just want it, you know? You know what it's like to want something that you don't need, but then shit just is always in your way and it's not even that big of a deal, but... It's not the worst feelings, but it does make me angry. And it should make everybody else angry too. I'm sure if you've experienced it more than once yourself. It's like, I would just like a simple thing. It's like, that's nice. We're going to go ahead and uh, make you do a whole lot of shit just to get it. It's like, oh, well, but it's not much. Yeah, I know it's not much. Fucking ridiculous bullshit. Words at Taco Bell? I guess her cave would be the bathroom. <laughs> Taco Bell bathroom joke.
Yeah, this is like one of the areas the game said for sure a horde's supposed to fucking be at. So I expect to find one. See my god dang horde though. No, oh, you had to set up that wire, didn't you? I got a flamethrower. Oh uh, yeah, you do got a flamethrower. I'm repeating myself too much, but fuck, man. Come on. Tons of human enemies. You'd almost think that there's not even a fucking apocalypse going on here. Blue fellow, the only PS4 Pro enhancements this has is a uh, 4K resolution. I guess if you're running on a 10p, 1080p monitor, it might have a better frame rate. Maybe, but you'd have to go look that up. Check out Digital Foundry. They're usually really good about letting you know what's going on with that kind of thing. Later, Ricky. I'm about done with this. Good dude, like if there's an apocalypse, I don't see what the fear of it is. There's no fucking hordes, and when they do show up, they're pretty easy to take out. What kind of a lame apocalypse is this. Oh no, a couple of weirdos on the sidewalk. It's almost as bad as a regular walk through downtown. One more spin up to the map, and if I don't see a fucking horde, I'm done with it. At that point, I'm just gonna say it's luck. I'm gonna say it has nothing to do with location or anything. Then once you get to Crater Lake, the game just like, ah, we just spawn them in when we feel like it. Because it has to be what happens. There's no other explanation. I would have seen them by now.
Nah, they're not gonna stop. Okay, fine. Oh, I don't throw you guys at me. But horse, no, it's too much. more like a troop of zombies, not a horde. has all the inconveniences in the world to send at me, but not a single horde. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, don't let me fuel up quickly. Don't throw a horde at me quickly, but throw little fucking trash mobs at me. That's cool. It's fine. I don't mind. Hey, come on. Get on over here. You may as well come over too, and you got a friend over here. Go ahead and... Philip Gasoline. Can't throw a horde at me, though, even in their specified fucking location. Yeah, no, like... <laughs> I'm gonna be making a drive back to home. Oh, yeah, of course. Because why wouldn't that happen? Come on over, then. Has to be a massive pain in the ass. Something else is gonna tag me, isn't it? Here it comes. Every little bit of inconvenience they can throw at me. But not a horde, not that. No, 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 that'd be too much. Angry.
Make him one more round trip to an area I should see plenty of hordes in. And if I don't, nah, even if I do see one, I'm just going to continue the story. I should have had like three or four hordes dead by now. Or at least I should have encountered them. Even if they kicked my ass, I wouldn't have been too angry about it. Be like, oh, damn, they really are tough. But now I've reached this point and the game's like, eh, no, no hordes. Even though they're supposed to be a place, no, no hordes. What's the fucking point? If I even advertise it as a feature, or advertise them as being like local to an area. Here's one of their caves. It's gonna be empty. I ain't even afraid to run in. Oh, nothing. Might be thinking, oh, help it. Well, they only show up at daytime. I've been in these caves during the daytime. There ain't shit in there. Daytime, nighttime, whatever time. That other horde I ran into, total. Totally unexplainable. Because they weren't there last like eight times I've checked. Fucking horse shit, man. Zombies, sure, plenty of those. What the hell happened here? Wonder if they left anything worth the effort. Well, that's just mm. Like, this game ain't perfect, but yeah, that's disappointing. That's real fucking disappointing. Bumping in the horde over here was just a total fluke. And you know what? I'm tired of little hidden things like that in games where it's like, ooh, ooh, ooh it's a hidden feature. It's not a hidden feature. It's just, it's just not good. It's a bad feature is what it is. I'm gonna cruise on over there, and if I don't see nothing, then fuck it. That means that there is nothing. And we'll just finish the story off and fuck it. That sucks though, because you know, if you wanted to, you know, let's say fight the hordes and maybe deck out your guns and you know, get the cool rewards that you get for fighting the hordes. Well, you, you wouldn't be able to do it. Because you'll be in the position I'm in to where it's like they're just not here. Even though they should be. It's like, oh, well, use a strategy guide. Okay, maybe I did. But I've also been in the game before as well. And the game also teaches you some things. Like, during the daytime, they hide in their caves. What happens? Well, during the daytime, I find their caves and I go in. What do I find? Nothing. Not a single fucking one of them. Well, then they'll be out during nighttime. Okay, I go out during nighttime. What do I find? None of them. They ain't there.
Hello, zombies, fucking hordes, where are ya? God. Does it change based on difficulty? Well, if it does, then I'm on the highest difficulty. So there should be more. Why would there be less of them on the highest difficulty? Makes no fucking sense. Fucking bitch. Now you guards at the thing I ran over. All right, I tap, I give. They're just not here. That sucks. Song. I didn't watch the trailer for the new Assassin's Creed game. I again, I'm not a hype machine dude. Like it's about Vikings and it's Assassin's Creed, so I assume you sneak around and stab Vikings. Is that the gist of it? Harder to get better gear in a higher difficulty? Nope, it's not, Garzit. It's actually not hard at all to get better gear. Look at how many camp credits I have. 35,000? I already have all the guns. I got the guns here quicker than I did in the previous difficulties. Also, I got the maximum level quicker than I did in the previous. Everything got done faster. But uh, I didn't hunt for the hordes like I did. Previously played a uh, fucking... What a waste of my- hey, look, Deke. I don't uh, mind corporal. that kind of shit, but just tell Sorry. me, you know what I mean? I'm sick of the lack of information. Yeah, got just the tool for that. Corporal like, oh well, the there could be, yeah. maybe, hey, and it's the same thing with fucking Andy game trailers, man. too. It's like, oh, we're making Sorry, a game, and it's gonna good. have this, it's gonna have that, it's gonna have the other, and the other, and the other, blah, 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 blah. Then it comes out and hardly has shit. First or, what? or they compromise some stuff and it's not what it was meant to be. That's why I don't like trailers. Yeah, I don't like being hyped up for shit. Right? I don't like being told about how cool something is. Oh, Just say sense. like, hey, this thing's neat. And then for whatever reason, it piques my interest, I'll be into it. Yeah, Just okay. like the fucking hordes. It's like, oh, hordes are neat. I'll go around them. I, I fucking comb this area. I've spent two hours, two fucking hours driving around here. Looking for these sons of bitches. I found two. One on accident. Another one on accident. Neither were on purpose. They're both on accident. I looked up several guides. Several. Uh, fucking Games Radar and Eurogamer. Totally worthless. And fuck those websites. Useless. By the time, if the, if the hordes only spawn, at least the ones I'm talking about, if they only spawn once you beat the game, then their strategy guides mean jack shit. Let me look at the comment section of one of these, surely. Okay, other people are having the same problem. They aren't there most of the time, not there most of the time. Well, fuck. Fuck you, Eurogamer. Fuck you, Games Radar. <laughs> Load of horse shit. I don't get too angry about video games often, Plash and Sugar. I'm actually usually pretty forgiving, if anything. Oh, but that's Holy bad. Shit. This is some primo shit, let me tell you. You got all the guns, all the upgrades for all the guns, everything. I mean, you know, if it's supposed to be harder to unlock things because of the harder difficulty, I'm sure I'm not having an issue with that. Come on, dude, gotta be something. 
No, there's nothing. Not a single horde out there, man. It's fucked up. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. No horde harass the camps is a good thing, but in the context of I want to complete a thing, it's horse shit. It sucks. That it wasted two hours of my time when the game could have said they may not always be there. That's all they needed, like a little bit of text. I can do it. There we go. I fixed the problem. In, in video editing, streaming software. There you go. And that little bit of text was right there. Boom. I would have saved two hours out of my fucking morning. I've been, I've been like, oh, okay. And then if I run across them, I guess I'm just lucky. Okay, fair enough. Instead, they make it seem like, you know, horde killer. You go find them and hunt them, but... No. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Well, Garza, they have a route that they're supposed to travel, and when I finish the game, I'll fucking show you. And I guess they'll show up there 100% of the time. But I guess until you get there, they don't, and they don't tell you that. And look, that's like my least favorite thing you'll see in a game or anything, to where it's like, yeah, this thing's pretty cool, right? Watch out for that. 
Not anything like that, man. It'd be like... It'd be like hitting the block to get the first mushroom in Super Mario World, and then it, it, sometimes it's there, but most of the time it's not. Like, that sucks. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need? Totally. Mm, mm. Uh, hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. <laughs> brother, Wait, what do you mean by that? Life. I guess I am one of the good white people. Thank you. It didn't lock up again, did it? Oh. I mean, I figured I'd take like a couple extra hours anyways, because there's not that much left, but I figured to be like shooting hordes, you know what I mean? Like fighting the big old horde zombie hordes like they they tell you that are all over the fucking game. Instead it was spent doing donuts around bum fuck nowhere seeing hardly jack shit. Wolf song, I think this game is worth the price, but even the strategy guys don't have everything right. The strategy guy should say, like, hordes will appear randomly at these locations, not go here to find the horde, for one. And look, I, I don't use strategy guides most of the time, unless something's really obtuse. You know. If it's some real obtuse bullshit like a puzzle, and I don't, like, you know, maybe a puzzle in the middle of an action game. You're playing an action game, you're like, halfway through it and it's like here's a puzzle i'm like ah oh, fuck that where's the solution i don't want to deal with that you know that kind of thing that's usually what i look up and this is all like oh yeah beware the hordes ah oh, the, the hordes are a big deal and they are man the sawmill horde real fun to fight no 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 oh, sniper i don't even see from where that came from i mean i guess it makes sense but oh there's a laser that's where you are god damn it Shoot me, you fucking bastard. Incoming! What do you mean, incoming? You shot at me. <laughs> and my baby. Where'd your sledgehammer go? I yeah, I think the game's worth the price. I think it's worth paying, but uh, paying for. And you should hunt hordes. You really should. That auto shotgun will carry you through the game, and the SMP will too. But once you get to this part of the game, don't even bother. Fuck it. It's fun to watch the zombies chase deer, though. You know what? The game runs at 4K. I like riding the motorcycle around. The gunplay is pretty fun. There's a lot of cool shit going on in the game, but that that horde thing really does piss me off. 
Mainly because I'm so invested in it, right? I very rarely get, like, invested in a game. I got invested in this one. <laughs> that zombie. Ah, why are you hiding in that cop car, huh? What are you doing, little feller? You don't belong in there. You're not a real cop. Game has fun moments. Not it says, dude, that guy tried to wave at you and you shot him. Yeah, I know. The zombie's like, hi, hey, I'm sentient. Uh, uh, and... Yep. Hey, game. Why don't you, like, throw a horde at me while I go towards this mission? That would be exciting. Eh. Maybe it's something weird like you gotta drive through this tunnel that's obviously put here to help them load the game in. That's fine, you know, loading tunnels, elevators, doors, these are all things game designers use to make sure they can like, you know, buffer in an area without the game crashing. And I guess it wouldn't be able to like, say it's like, oh, well if you want to fight the zombie horde, make sure to buffer the area by driving through a tunnel, you know, that that would be an unsolvable problem, at least on a marketing level. I get it, but... Fuck! You understand what I'm saying, man? He's like, yes, Halbert, I totally get it. That What a, what a crock of shit. I'm glad somebody agrees with me. Otherwise, I'd think I was crazy. She's faking it. Grim Chaos asks, who puts laser pointer on a sniper? Well, nobody's smart, but... Because, you know, bullet drop. But in this game, it it's kind of a gameplay mechanic thing, you know? Cause it'd be bullshit if they sniped you and you couldn't see him there. It'd be like, well, oh, it's just a bit too difficult. But I can, I can concede that that's a bad design. They should have thought of more creative ambushes than the sniper one. Boozer, you there? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke, that's good to hear from you, brother. How's it going? Yeah, it's, uh, everything's fine. Booze, man, it's, uh... I'm okay. Yeah? Bullshit. How long did we ride together? What's going on, brother? Uh, I, look, Sarah. It's a long story, but she's she's part of the militia down here. She wants to come back with me, but now they, uh, they're forcing her to stay, booze man. They're not gonna let us leave. What the hell? Forcing you to stay? Jesus, dude. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna grab Iron Mike, uh, uh, Ricky, some men. Look, we'll find a way down there, we'll, we'll... Boozer, no. No, you don't understand. They got hundreds of men, and they are armed. Shit, they stole from the National Guard, the military, and the, the... I don't give a shit what they've got. We're gonna... Oh, God damn it! listen to me. You, we cannot let the Colonel, their leader, find out about Lost Lake. He's crazy, Boozer, batshit fucking crazy. The militia... They're attacking every camp that they come across. Drifters, squatters, campers, makes no difference to them. Oh, Jesus, D. Look, I got this. I got this figured out. Just if anything happens to me, if, if you don't hear from me again, then... Deke, I'm... Look, you're gonna figure this out, like you said. Okay, you, you get Sarah, and you get her the hell out of there, you hear me? Yeah, booze man, I hear you. All right, that's more like it. Now uh, uh, you're cutting out, I, I can't... Deke? Deke? I hear you, brother. I hear you. Deke and out.
Bob Neiman with 10 bucks says, imagine a game like Daggerfall and the Sims mixed together. You grow old, have a family, and when you pass, you play your uh, kids. Hold on. I mean, that's wrong. Imagine a game like Daggerfall and Sims mixed together. You grow old, have a family adventurer, and when you pass, you play as your kids. Time advances from swords and shields to flintlock guns. That'd be pretty cool. It's kind of like, uh, not Age of Empires, but there's another one where you went from, like, being cavemen to, like, having assault rifles and nukes. Not Civ. It was an RTS. But it'd be way cooler if it was, like, Daggerfall, like, uh, like a fucking, uh, ARPG thing. I, I would enjoy that. But it'd be buggy as hell, though, but... Nah, you know what? It wouldn't have to be buggy as hell, though. It doesn't have to be. This is one reason why consoles suck. I like consoles for a lot of reasons, but there's a reason why... There's a couple reasons why developers won't spend upwards of five or six years on a game. One of the biggest reason is if they spend an entire console generation developing a game, they may not make it to the next generational gap, right? Game engines also cause this. So like a really big elaborate game like that, they only come like once in a blue moon either because the developers are goddamn wizards or because a lot of money was put into it or just random luck somebody took a big risk maybe see i love the hell out of that bob but in the era of the uh video game console or the console war continuing on it's just unlikely That's why the PS2 has so many hits, because the PS2 was around for a long time, right? People were encouraged and had the time and, uh, you know, motivation to make very, very, very long, drawn-out games. Xbox 362. That felt good. I feel a little bit better. <laughs> that dog ran into a tree. John Vallegi, you say just Dance 2021 for the Wii is a game we don't need, but in France, the Nintendo Wii is still very popular. PC only, I agree, Bob Neiman, I agree. I like my consoles, I really do, but they do hamper development. Speaking of which, Dan said, why don't we, why don't I make my own game then, one with hordes of motorcycles, because I couldn't. But I am making a game, and I'll tell you what, I see shit like this, and I take it as lessons. I play shit like this. I'm like, yeah, we're not doing that. Shit is not going to be obtuse. I'm not going to tutorialize the shit out of it, mind you. You know, I hate it when games do that shit. Where it's like, hey, did you know that you could fire by pressing the trigger button? Like, no shit. Hey, Sergeant. Okay. Might have like a tarred mode on it. Where it's like, have you ever played video games? Yes or no? And it's like, yes. It's like, okay. Well, then you, you chose this. Corporal in command. Sergeant, how's it going? Okay, now that's more like it. But obtuse things and like have truths and shit like that? Yeah, no. Okay. See ya, Corporal. Done with that. So they did do one thing right, though, at least at a minimum, they put up these little notifications saying, hey, if you continue from here, you're not going to be able to go back. Well, that's fine. The only thing I'd go back for is the hordes and you locked me out from them. So fuck it. Proceed. I have had a revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place 
at this time yeah. is no accident. No. Right. No way. <laughs> they bring word of more camps, like the one to the south, right. which we have purged. Right. Yeah. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, <laughs> drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened, all of us, every day. We live in the shadow of death. Hell yeah. That's right. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. No, it's right. They are part of God's plan. Right. Yeah. They are part of God's punishment. Yeah. Preach, Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. No. It is our fellow man. Right on. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. To save all the knowledge. So when the flood waters recede, we may rebuild. Oh, yeah. No, we built some. But in this age. Here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. No, there won't. No. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. We are sent forth to baptize the world with fire. down the wrath of God. We will move north. Seek out the depraved and cleanse Brian, this is St. John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, and Militia Camp. You disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. Brian out. Well, you're not wrong, Dan, Dan and good duty did have the speaking Where stick. Would they be? Oh, the towers. It's got to be the towers. That's right. Keep moving. Speech. Move it against other camps. Jesus, that's harsh. Find me some grub while you're out. Yeah, right. Come on, you son of a bitch. <sighs> That'll do it. I gotta get to Sarah. Wait, they just have the one? Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Got to keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the order... <coughs> Make sure we're clear. We're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? Well, Brian. I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone. Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? No, come on, oh, shit, Weaver. No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private. 
Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man. That canister, right there. Oh, I don't want to see that canister fall. Holy shit, he let us go. Weaver let us go. Oh, shit, more guards. Okay, hold here. Yeah, it's because Weaver says I'm one of the good white guys. Hey, come on. Let's go around them. Okay. So, Brian, the guy in the Nero chopper, he's coming here? Yeah, look, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it once we get clear. It's really time it's to whisper. I mean, we're in the earshot of these guys. Deacon, they must have resources, labs, equipment. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, you can ask O'Brien when you see him. Another guard. Hold on. I'll distract him. I'll be careful. Soldier, what are you doing? Something's wrong. I'm sorry, man. This area's off limits. How dare you talk back to an officer? Do you know the penalty for disobeying an order? Do you know that we have hanged soldiers for less? You do know that, right? I was sent by the colonel, soldier. He's asked me to check on you, specifically you. He mentioned you by name. Do you know what that means? Do you? I'm just gonna let this play out. Look, I'm going to make the game look like Borderlands. There we go. I've improved the graphics. Look, it's Borderlands, everybody. Okay, joke's done. Hey, what? Ah. Nice. Another guard. I'll see if I can get them to move. Yeah, I'll be careful. Well done. Come on. You got arms We're like twigs. There. Come on. That's not. Oh, whatever. I can't wait to see Boozer again. You, uh, you want to go with me to Lost Lake? I mean, I mean, I, I thought we were going to Cloverdale. No, we are. I mean, I just want to see him. He's like my big brother. It's not like we have much family left these days, you know? You got, got me. This section's poorly designed. I I can't argue that. Look, I like this game, I do, but when people say day's gone, that's a fucking dumb shit game. I, I can't argue too hard. Cause it does have issues. And I think they've been most exemplary 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 shown during this stream, for sure. Uh-huh. I saw someone. Soldier, over here, please. Ma'am, this is restricted. Are you questioning me, soldier? Do you see this rank? 
Huh? Do you know that I can have you court-martialed for insubordination, disobeying orders, and generally being disrespectful to an officer? Do you know who I am? Do you know that I am an officer? That I work directly with Colonel Garrett? That I have two PhDs in biomedical science? Are you questioning me? You should just, like, she should have, like, an hour-long speech in the game if you just wait. That'd be way funnier. We make a good team. I can see daylight. Come on, we're almost out. Yeah, okay, this is it. We're at the cone. We made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is O'Brien? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh, oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! Wait, 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 stay back! Stop him! I was just Freedom. trying to tell you Don't that we were going on a supply He's a murderer run. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? You remember that camp I told me? you about? You know I am not. Mark, the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this mm -hmm. guy's crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere, and you're going to believe him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Lord you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk, and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't have been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel. This shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <clears throat> you wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You here. hide behind angelic names of the and clothe yourself in lies! He got kicked out you of You are Judas! Out of it. <laughs> and what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the yeah. Drifter when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise, I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! But an officer- Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! But Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied. 
to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lock up. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial. And he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know? Lieutenant! Please. Come on. Get up. Uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. He's like, come on, man. The story is like B grade schlock, but what can I say? It's a guilty pleasure. Good. I thought I heard you breathing. Oh, fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hadn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? It's not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Well, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <laughs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. <laughs> Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. When I told the Colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but, uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if... I'd served under someone like you.
You know, maybe it's not too late. I want the DLC where he plays Curry, starting up a military camp or something. I don't know. Oh, good, I got my stuff. <laughs> Sawed off 12 gauge. Oh, no. No, I'm good. When I did this on normal, I actually found the uh, IDF pup laying around. Like, it was just a weapon on the ground. You could pick it up. And I held on to it for dear life because I'm like, oh my god, this gun's so good. If it looked a little harder, I probably would have realized that you could get it just from killing hordes. Which is why I was so intent on killing the gotta fucking hordes. To Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Ricky. Iron Mike. And I save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. But I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way to come back for you, I swear to God. I'm coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the, uh, uh Sanium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, that's fast as well. If I see a horde, I'm stopping to kill it. Bob Nemoon, two bucks. Thank you, Bob. He says, damn, I misjudged. Damn, good man. Yeah, Corey's great, Bob. Sandium. This way, <laughs> head north. They set him up really good. They set him up. It's like he's got your room. No way around it. Oops. No way around it. I was just going to drive through. Fine, whatever. But yeah, they uh, set up Curry. Oh, there's a sniper back there. Anyways, they set up Curry really well because they give him the ring. And it's meant to make you think like, oh, I can't trust this guy. He's, he stole my fucking wife's ring. What's the deal with that? Is my wife like, you know, did she move on? What's, what's the deal with that? Okay, here we go. So since they give you a good setup with curry, I, I approach this the wrong fucking way. <laughs> this could have been a much more exciting fight. Instead, it's just going to be me like Red Dead Redemption, doing it Red Dead Redemption 2 style. Just exactly that, to where you just use all your excess stuff, especially excess healing items to just tank everything. all the issues get down from there you jerk can I blow up your little thing oh I should have done that did he pick up his helmet and put it back on because that'd be cool if they could do that comes up right there yep
Yeah, I could have done that way more smoothly. <laughs> make something out of this. I like this game, but yeah, it is kind of riddled with issues here and there. The horde thing particularly made me angry, but. What? It's all right. Not that angry. I'm just. Look, it would have been nice to have the extended mag on this gun, but I don't really need it. It would have been nice to get the extended mag for the big heavy machine gun, but I don't need it. But you know, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to fight all those hordes, but we can do it after the story. Okay, fine. But the thing is, the game should have should have told me. It should have fucking told me that, you know? It's like, hey, the, all the hordes aren't really going to appear yet. It's like, oh, okay, well, that's fair enough. I would have been fine with that if I knew anyways. But since the game's like, no, the the illusion or what, I don't know what they're going for with that. Like, maybe it's a technical limitation, possibly, maybe, but even if it is a technical limitation, it should be a limitation that's like explained. Plenty of games have technical limitations that they explain within the game world, you know. Is that all of them, huh? Where'd you all go? Yeah, that's what I thought. <sighs> yep, streaming to 4K. Click that little clock. Click that little <gasps> cog. Swap it to 4K, and uh, we got you covered over here. And I don't want the end of the game to be filled with me just bitching. So uh, that's that's my last word on that. The hordes are the funnest thing to fight in the game. And to have anything that would impede you finding them is kind of a dick move. So, you know, that's a big negative for me. But outside of that, I do like the story, schlocky though it may be. It's a zombie story. Don't tell me Resident Evil has, like, this amazing plot and go, Oh, well, Days Gone's just dumb. It's like, well, you know, Resident Evil's pretty dumb, too. But we like it. Ah, whatever. Hang on, loser. I'm coming. Uh oh, oh, no, no, I wanted, I did the wrong thing. Yeah, gun, please. Thank you. Oh, I could have blown up his little hidey thing. Damn it. Good, I get another chance to do this. I I'm happier that way. Come on. Hang on, Boozer. I'm coming. Come on. There we go. <laughs> That's fun.
Come on, come on, come on. No, no, I need those. High bomb will do just fine. There you go. Have one of those. Yeah. I guess they put that sniper there just in case you, you main a sniper. I don't know why you would main a sniper in this game, but then again... I learned a lot of things that were better done differently. Oh, no. This is what I meant. Really? There we go. Old finicky. I don't know why, but I gotta. I feel like I missed something. There was no, no, no. I did it before. Yeah, back back in a previous area a long time ago, several streams ago, there's one of those things that you you go through one of those doors and it'd be a thing. <laughs> Nothing like scrap. Good dude says sniper class underrated. I guess so. I suppose now that I know what I'm up against for the most part with the zombies and all that other shit. Yeah, you're running with like a shotgun or a rifle and a submachine gun and a sniper special. That'd work just fine. But having all this uh, machine gun ammo on me does make me feel a lot less vulnerable. Oh, well. It's either here nor there. You know, driving straight's a good idea, though. That one's on me. God damn it. Oh, I want to blow this guy up. It's fun. Just fuck that up. Oh, it blew it up anyways. Fine by me, I guess. I'm not allowed to have a flamethrower. Be 
yeah, this is the door. I went in here in the past and there was stuff. Yay. Nice for it to tell me that the bike was obstructing it. They didn't have to tell me that. It could have just, they could have just not patched that and gone, well, if you're too dumb to figure it out, too bad for you. I guess with this game, nah, I'll, I'll save my thoughts for later. I've spoken enough about it. Save for the fucking end. Let's just, let's, let's enjoy the story, huh? Yeah, the quarantine's driving me fucking crazy. It's, it's actually fucking with my head a bit. So, you know, there's that, but. Uh. No, no, I want to see where it's going. Ooh, can I walk behind it and get killed? No. Damn it, I may have stopped it. I wanted it to just keep going. That would have been great. Forever. 10 hours a day, six days a week. I'm sorry to hear that, Dr. Deke, but both both scenarios suck. Don't get me wrong. Both out of work and overworked. It's like there's nothing in between. Our, our sweet, delicious in between. Remember that? Booze, are you there? Come back. Booze, man, come back. Deke, is it you? Got movement here, goddammit. Addy gets wounded inside. Boozer! Deke, glad to hear you wounded, brother. Sure can use you about now. Get him inside! Move, damn it, move! Shit, look out! I'm coming, Boozer, I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo. Schizo, he's there, Boozer, he's coming for you. They're, they're coming in through the gate. Go, go! Let him come, Deke. Let him come. Boozer! Ricky, lost leg camp, come in. Ricky, I don't like, come in. Oh, shit. Deke. Hey, hey. They're pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it. Right man. on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Kill him. Damn one Where the hell is Schizo? A bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <gasps> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Uh -huh, I can't tell me I was wrong. I'm gonna die. <laughs> hey, you lazy son of a bitch. I wanted to... See if you wanted to go fishing. We got a camp to feed. <coughs> you found her? Found her? Your old lady. Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She, she's here? Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. I want to meet her. Come for you. Hell of a gal to go through all that trouble. God, I got no like my lips like this. Okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got What's wrong, Deke? No, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just, you get back on your feet, you'll see the tournament. I was, I was wrong. What's wrong? You do what you have to. You, you, you keep this camp safe. Hmm. 
Cookie. Yeah, I'm here, Mike. I'm here. Mike? Mike? Press up to toggle the binoculars. There's no easy way to say this. Our Mike's dead. Yeah. He stopped. He tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. I tried to reason with him and... Okay. Yeah, I... Shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. I don't have time for this because... Because the men that we killed today... Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp. I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one of them. At least they're gonna try Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm goddamn drunk. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. Find Boozer, tell me maybe like Cabin. Welcome to the land of the living, Spartacus. I have my complaints on rest. I like this story. Special bolts can be crafted in the crossbow wheel. Hey, I want to good to see you. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. It's a drawing of a penis. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dump truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan. Oh, my God. The militia have turned this entire island into a fortress. I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in the survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that. Tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, I mean, she's in the caves. That's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sa Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't. I don't. But I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're. I can go in. I can find her. I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Just the first casualties in that war. <laughs> it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. <sighs> I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one. Are you Nick. with me, brother? Oh. I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not gonna be able to do it alone. If anyone wants to join in, you hit him. You hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're going to rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to need some supplies. Crazy asses. <sighs> if you're all turning, you can do donuts.
I could already make the napalm molotov though. Well, whatever. I know it's dumb, but I'm gonna go to Copeland's camp and go ahead and get level three real quick. And the game's gonna try to prevent me from doing that by putting the uh, progression right there. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go out the back way. Unless the game's gonna go, hey, 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 hey wait a <laughs> Which is likely. Frankly, I think getting like perfect trust level with all the camps should have some kind of impact on the end of the game. Rally all the camps together, right? And they come and fight with you and like they all, you know, that'd be cool. I don't think that's a deal in the game though. I don't think that's a thing in the game at all. with this wonky ass Losing someone twice like that. yeah I know it's crazy right uh, hey I haven't lost her yet we're building a really big bomb remember well we're glad to have you back lost like hey Ricky uh it wasn't his fault no uh, Iron Mike I mean he was He's only trying to do the right thing. Ricky out. We. Dink, you there? Schizo. Oh, you got some nerve calling me. Bro, there you are. Uh, I think I broke something. Schizo just had a fucking aneurysm. They definitely didn't expect you to be coming this way. I'm gonna get to Cope's camp. It's gonna be like bug the fuck out. I'm excited to see that. Captain, yeah, yeah, look, I'll tell him I'll be right there. See you right away. This army crap is all bullshit. You know it, bro. You gotta listen to me. I'm not your bro, Schizo. Fair enough. I just wanted you to know. Busted you out, the colonel. You went crazy. Thought she was in on it. <laughs> okay. and shit she's cooking up maybe we use it to kill the freaks but maybe we don't maybe there's an enemy camp maybe they got one water supply maybe dumping a gallon of hemlock into that maybe that solves a lot of problems anyway the colonel he likes that idea so he puts me in charge of the ark wants me to keep it safe she reports to me now Deke. to me what do you want schizo Bro, I just wanted to warn you. They're coming. I can't stop them. 
they're coming, and this time, this time the Colonel's bringing the whole damn house. Uh, well, let him. We're not going anywhere. And when he comes, this time, we'll be ready for him. Hey, Deke. Captain, the Colonel's waiting. I'll be there, goddammit! Now get out! Hey, Deke. Look, I gotta go. But, uh, I'll tell Lieutenant Whitaker that you send your best wishes. Captain Sarkozy signing off. Oh, God damn you, Schizo. Sorry, the intermittent radio conversation threw me off there. I'm not supposed to be going this way. But I'm doing it anyways. <sighs> Time to go visit the Keebler Elves and turn in like two Freaker ears and get level three, even though I don't need it. Lately, thought maybe you'd gone up north without me. Jesse, no, no, we have. We already had this conversation, you Jesse. I'll see you soon. Good to see right? you, Deke. Hey, Damon, looking for something in particular? Anything else I can get for you? Nice. And Cope's camp fucking sucks. Bob Neiman with ten bucks says. I'm not gonna stop it now. I got a damn good plan. I packed a half a ton of fertilizer in a rental van. Gonna blow the hell up out of Okahuchi Dam. Okay. The Oka. Oh yeah, no shit. Thanks, Deacon. That's Squid Billies. Hey, my best customer. Ain't gonna it stop going, it man? now. I got a damn good plan. Packed a half a ton of fertilizer in a rental van. Gonna blow the hell out of the Okahuchi Dam. You don't want to run out of fuel in the shit. That's and watch sure. more Squid Billies. You have nothing good. Oh yeah, that's a good piece. Oh, it's not. Always good to meet a fellow Squidbillies fan. Do I get an achievement for buying all the fucking bike cool. tires? Need anything else? Probably not. Why'd you downgrade your tires though? That's stupid. I just like how these look. Oh, no. Hey man. I feel like this game could have benefited from more delays. I think they delayed it once. Oh, I, I'm going against Mord again. Not going to criticize it or praise it until I'm finished from here on out. Unless something really fucked up happens. I like how coming back here to do that fuck the auto map up, fuck the uh, schizo's radio call up. And for all I know, I might have to like reload a save. It could have fucked a whole lot of things up. I don't, you weren't supposed to do that. All the more reason to do it. If Lost Lake was up here all this time, what well, prevented me from coming here? I don't remember. Like, I know there's like a blocked off bridge or something, but like, there's a lot of ways to get up there. I guess I'll just, nope, I'm, I'm doing it again. Let's play the story, dude. I'm coming in back ways. Whoa, <laughs> did you see that shit? Hell yeah. Fill my bike up, invisible man. Let's 
See you later, Deke. Oh, fuck! Where'd you come from, Buzz? Jesus Christ! How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well... Truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured... Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Oh, they got the air freshener too. How nice! Okay. And a flask. Oh yeah, <laughs> she's ready. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dan, I, I kind of ripped the game apart there a little bit. I wonder about the freakers sometimes, you know? Like, do they feel pain? Anything? Hell, I don't know. I hope not. He's he's gonna give you a smooch. Hold on, here he comes. He's gonna kiss you with his eyes. He's gonna give you butterfly kisses. Be fair, that's actually a lot of care. I, I'm doing it again. It's a lot of character quality, a lot of character detail for a uh, open world game. There, I said it. Okay, let's move forward. Hey, Deacon. I'm going the wrong way. So, what's your plan? I'm thinking we can find all the fertilizer. Whatever. Meet over at the Iron Butte Ranch. Iron Butte Ranch. Yeah, it is. Not like Jesse and his rippers are gonna need it anymore. I mean, this place used to be a golf resort. Yeah. They've got a maintenance area, you know, lawnmowers. And, uh... Fertilizer. Goddamn right. Yeah, I'm gonna head over there right now. It's clear. I'm gonna radio you and Ricky to bring the truck in. You got it, brother. All right, those are out. Dan, I don't think it'll get any worse. I think it'll just be like, you know, okay, you're in default open world now. It was weird that Schizo's radio thing kept getting interrupted. I guess the game was confused about, like, which action was taking place. Like, are you in a mission or are you in a fight? What are you doing? Deer crossing. Deer crossing. Wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. Got him. Okay, they got me good. I gotta admit. When you when you got me, you got me. I shot you. You hurt me. You don't hurt Dick! Can't fix this. Dick can fix a motorcycle with the baby in it. Should work. I'm driving for two. Baby likes gasoline. Baby drink gasoline. I bring gasoline to the baby. Damn it. 
I think I heard the baby. Father of the year. I'm very impact resistant. <laughs> what? I don't understand what happened there. <laughs> Finish him! Oh, too soon. Got him. No, get away. There we go. Mike Hurdy, gotta fix my bike. That should do it. Naked Saint John! That, my friend, is all of them. Jesus. What? Uh, who's man? You there? It's clear. You can, uh, have her. Oh, yeah. I wasn't supposed to kill that horde yet. We got a surprise for you, brother. Oh, uh, great. That's great. Can't wait. Deacon out. Yeah, there's a horde there I wasn't supposed to kill yet, but I did already. And that is all of them. Uh, two days ago. I may have done this game a bit out of sequence. I need what the hell is that? A little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. Right. He uses an ice cream scoop to swap gears. Okay. Oh, God. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, how ready you you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't wanna know. He just starts chugging Mountain Dew and peeing into a vat. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to I wasn't supposed to do any of the shit that I did back here. Geek, I need to talk to you. Ricky, what's wrong? Uh, militia. What? Where? Boozer thinks they might be planning another attack, so he asked me to send you to take a look. Goddamn militia. Yeah, I got this. <sighs> Thank God. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. <clears throat> Dick, did you remember to warn them that they're, they're gonna put Hemlock in the water and poison everybody? Dang, I thought I remember to do something. Copeland. Deacon St. John. Shut Banana. up, Cope. Banana Man with five bucks says, who has a higher chance to bounce, bounce back? Dark Side Phil or Last of Us 2 leaks spreading on the internet? Dark Side Phil's indestructible. Hey, hey Cope. Thank you, Banana Man. Got a job. Okay. Uh, I'll swing by when I get no a chance. The both exist, though. Wait, Copeland has a fucking mission? Fine, fuck it. Yeah, there's a whole thing in this area. I was supposed to not fight this horde yet, but I mean, if you saw this horde, why wouldn't you fight it? I guess you're supposed to be scared of him. Second playthrough, not so scared of him. By the way, thank you again, Banana Man. But yeah, I don't think, uh, I think Last of Us 2 is going to make its money back because it's a major franchise. 
And I think Dark Side Phil's going to exist forever. I know that it sucks that it's that way, but that's just the, that's just the nature of things, man. Look, there's not nothing else on PlayStation. If this were like the PS2 era or something, I'd be like, oh yeah, that game's gonna fucking tank, man. But it's not like the 360 and PS3 days where we had like, you know, tons of exclusives on each side to choose from. Now it's like, well, you got, you got Bloodborne, uh, a couple of indie sort of games, a little big planet, I guess. I mean, you got, you got exclusives, but it's not like the old days. Also, there are some, for whatever reason, and I have theories about it, but they're not very kind. There are a lot of Last of Us fans and they're fans for some very strange reasons. And if you go and look up art for the game, fan art for the Last of Us game, you'll see what I'm talking about. Maybe look at like the Deviant Art page for Last of Us and go check that out. And I'm a PlayStation fan. I like pretty much all the game companies. I know it's kind of easy to say, it's like, oh, I like them all, but um, I like PlayStation. But there's going to be a, a certain section of fans who are like, man, that Nintendo stuff, that Super Mario, he's super lame. What a, what a dumb, dumb character. I bet he gay. I bet Super Mario a gay boy. And then they're going to play Last of Us 2 and go, it, it's, a, it's a complex story. You, you're just too dumb to understand. What's the, what's the PlayStation, uh, motto? Experience greatness. We're about to experience greatness come July. July is when greatness comes for the PlayStation. And, uh, you other PC boys and your Nintendo drones and your Xbox, you ain't gonna be able to experience the adventures of Joel and Ellie. You, you just ain't gonna be privy to this quality. And you, you just got to live with that with your inferior systems. They're going to play and be like, it's okay. It's just, it's just a little gay. I mean, uh, what are you guys are bigot? Are you guys bigots now? But then they're going to lose like their best favorite insult, calling everybody gay. Cause they're, you know, the game, they got a, the game they oh, have to the, play. Oh, damn it, ambush, ambush. Oh, that was an ambush. Why was he laying down like that? That's a dumb place to lay Oh, whatever. I guess they expected me to go through the tunnel with my lights on. Like I'm afraid of that. Oh, that must be why the stupid fucking thing broke. Because it's like, uh, you're going to Copeland now? We're supposed to be giving you something for Cope later. Okay, makes more sense. Anyhow. Perry Dan says, how could you forget the exclusive Call of Duty expansion that's currently only available on PlayStation 3 for three months? This voice, I, I got this voice trying to do an Eddie Murphy impersonation. Shrek, you need to take your big ogre tongue and just slip it down my mouth. I want to wanna feel the girthiness of your tongue slathering up against my trachea. It's not a good Eddie Murphy impression, but I'm trying. Uh, somebody's at the gate. It's me, you remember me? Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. The squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Don't look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope! Cope's kind of a little bitch. Isn't that right, Shrek? Shrek, my asshole hurts. Why is that? Shrek, help me. Help me, Shrek. Banana Man 
with five bucks says, Can you help me out? Let Phil sleep on your couch for like a week. I'm sure he'll clean up after himself. Also, what, what's a good gaming chair? I need to buy one. Don't buy a gaming chair. For love of God, don't buy those. They're a scam. Everything gamer tagged is a scam. And no, Phil cannot sleep on my couch. Just get yourself a regular quality office chair. Like a regular office chair. If, you, if you're really worried about it lasting, get a fat people office chair that can like carry 500 pounds. That way you can fuck your bitch on it and not have to worry about it breaking. If that's your concern, you know. Whatever you do, do not buy do not buy a gamer chair. I had one because I thought maybe, you know, it'd be built to like lean back and relax, you know what I mean? Kind of like a mix between a like a lazy boy and a you know like a recliner and a fucking office chair but they just don't make anything like that it, it, there must be some scientific impossibility to it and never buy anything that's tagged as made for gamers unless you absolutely Yo, have to found his bike i'm gonna see if i can track him down my men said they set up an ambush on the sanium yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. And Cope's such a little fucking child. Oh, this is like the fourth time we've done this. I wonder if the last zombie in the bunch is gonna try to grab us. Oh no, here he goes. He's gonna do it. And oh, he did it. Oh my god, I'm scared. It's always the last one. What's with the gunshots? <laughs> Fuck if I know. I guess someone's just having a hard time. I was about to say, how's this motherfucker right there not dead? Oh well, fuck it. This encounter is all sorts of fucked up. Grim Chaos just uses a shitty wooden, wooden chair. That, that's all on your back, man. You need that lumbar support. Health is one thing, but you can't exercise your bones.
Yeah, Grin Chill's not wrong. I bought a DX racer once because a, a streamer said they're really good. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll give it a try. And uh, that fucker gave out on me. Like, steel construction, yes, but on the bottom end, everything was just held together by nylon straps like you'd see on, like, a car or something. And that's fine until they start to give way, right? And once they start to give way... Well, they get looser and looser and looser, and then a few stitches pop, and next thing you know, they're gone. Like, the the nylon straps are fine, because they're meant to, like, hold up a couple thousand pounds, but the strands that hold the nylon strap together are not. So it's just a huge fucking mess, man. Yeah, don't buy those. Those are a fucking rip. Which is weird that they go through the effort to like make all those pieces of the chair like heavy duty and then go well for the base let's go with uh nylon straps and real cheap like brass wire and uh, it just was it wasn't great Do we have an actual horde? Here I come! Oh shit, I think I just killed Fred Durst. <laughs> hey Dean Coolblade, it was a DX racer that put me through the wall. The base fell apart. Who the hell is right? these before Gotta reload. this mission isn't playing right <laughs> there's something off about this I'm gonna set these zombies free. Here you go, boys. Come on in. Here they come. Yay! Friends! Hey, <laughs> yeah, he's scared now, huh? made this worse but whatever it's funny Where's that rager anyways? He just kind of ran away. Oh wait, I hear him. Come up left side. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. Oh, he's dead already. Oh, fuck. Why you say I got it? He's not dead yet. You butt fuck. Oh, 
There we go. Jesus, Dick. You did it. Oh, Jesus. It's clear. Oh, yeah. It's such a hard, hard thing to do, Deke. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell out I've here. killed like a dozen of them. Well, you gotta twist my arm on that one. Well, then, come on. Let's go. Wait, do I gotta follow your slow ass fucking pace? Come on. Move. You better get back to your fucking bike, you piece of shit. Don't make me do this again. Oh, God. Manny. I swear to God. This way, Manny. Is it because there's still a zombie over here? There, she's dead. Will you come? Come on. Manny. 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 Manny, go. I killed the rager in the way of where Manny walks. I did set him on fire, Jaffigus. Dumb son of a bitch. Fuck. Shit. Jesus, Dick. You did it. Oh, Jesus. God, it's no, clear. don't. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. Manny. You don't gotta twist my arm on that. Hey, you walk around to the left a little bit more, huh? Try to walk around me. No. For real? Stop grabbing at your dick. Oh my fucking lord. This may be soft locked. What do you mean protect Manny? Oh, this is fucked. I can't sprint either. Oh, my fucking God. Ooh. <laughs> The bear's not going to despawn forever. It won't despawn. He shifted. He's got to jut him loose or something. Son of a bitch. So, if you kill that bear, make sure not to kill it within Manny's fucking pa- It's not far back enough. Oh, God. Oh, sweet mercy.
put me put me somewhat close. Put me somewhat close. I'll I'll go fight in the most open dumbass area possible. I don't care. Yeah, it's me. Fine. You know what? I'm going to do the thing. Oops. <laughs> he looks so sad. Bell of anger and generosity. And sometimes I just hit it. Fine. 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 Bear's corpse is still there. Yeah, you got me now. Now we have two of them blocking his path. Jesus, Great. You did it. Oh, fucking get out of here! He's clear. fucking asshole! I mm. it too long. Never saw mm. nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell Don't you get here. stuck on him. Don't you, you get twist my arm on that one. Don't. Come on, man. There's nothing I can do about that. That's just fucked. And even if I load back, there's no guarantee that the corpse is going to be gone. So we're just not going to do that mission. No point. There's going to be a second bear corpse there. I could... 
I could keep killing bears there till the fucking sundown and we would just have tons of fucking bear corpses. Now, I already know what's going on with the with the Javicus. That bear corpse has collision to it. Except for when it comes to Deke. Wait, a horde discovered near Juniper Ridge? What? Why are there hordes discovered now? What the fuck? Oh my god. It doesn't make sense. What do you mean horde discovered? Deacon St. John, come in. Deke, you out there? Shut the fuck up, hey, Cope. Cope. Hell of a guess you got a job for me. Okay. Uh I'll swing by when I get a chance. Deacon out. Fuck Manny! Manny can go fucking die! Bye, Spartacus. Have a good day. Jay, with two bucks, did I, did I break the whole game? I might have. That one little scoot over to fucking Cobus Camp to get my level three fucking trust might have completely fucked the game up the ass. What? <laughs> fucking asshole, huh? Makes you think you're so fucking tough. This way. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Fellow. Remember, press X while driving your bike to Nitro Boost. Man, he's fucking dead to me.
<laughs> okay, I guess they know I'm here. Summer girl, I got a question. What's the deal with people frequently changing their names? You're not the first person to do that around here. I'm like, I was this person, now I'm this person. I see it on Discord, I see it everywhere. What's the deal with that? What's with that? I don't want to, I just like to do it answer. I, I want like a real one. That's not an answer, that's just, that's just like saying something. Not the actual answer. Not criticizing, I'm just curious. Because once you change your name, you cease to be. Think about it this way, future or future 3D. If somebody like just changes their name to Summer Girl 3D, you have no way of proving that you're you you are who you are. You've given up your identity. Hey, Death the X. Nothing much, just breaking the fucking game. Hopefully, by the time I'm done doing all this, that stupid fucking bear will have despawned, and then, then I'll be able to save Manny. But until that fucking rager despawns, there is no feasible way to do it. And it is not my fault that that happened. It is literally him just not being able to get past the corpse of an enemy that I killed. And if that's the case, then and t I, I just gotta like let the game idle and drive around and shit until it like depops the corpses, which could take God knows how long. It could take a while. Horde discovered, you know. Those strategy guys could have mentioned that whole horde discovered thing. Because these hordes that are discovered down there that, I, you know, they shouldn't even... The, the fucking hordes that are discovered down there. Those are in, in the exact places I was trying to find them. And now they're not there. It's just... Ooh. A lot of bad information, a lot of misinformation, and I'm angry.
save Manny. Fucking. <laughs> Look at it go. Maybe I did break the fucking game. Ow! Oh. Now the future D 3D, you probably did right. Summer Girl 3D, more likely than not, attracts a bunch of weird freaks. Future, the future 3D is a better name, comparably. I'm sorry, comparably. And yes, that is that that, that is also the angry bell too. Fucking. Yeah, I could format the the. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, Dan. You're joking, but there's cloud saves, right? So I got my cloud save. If I delete the entire game and reinstall it, I bet it doesn't store all like the enemy locational shit on my save file. I bet it doesn't store that there. Which means the way to fix it, if it is actually super fucked and that corpse is still there and it's not going to go away, the way to fix it may actually be to uninstall the game and reinstall it. Or let upwards of four to five in-game days pass. One or the other. I still like it. I like the game. But that pisses me off. It's no more glitchy than Star Citizen anyways. Stupid thing. And it keeps pointing me to Copeland's camp. It's like, hey, buddy, do the Copeland camp thing. It's like, no, I can't. In fact, that before I even go, before I even think, before I even fathom the idea of going to Can of fuel. Copeland's camp, I'm just gonna like hit the bed several times. Done. Jeff, I guess the future never stops. It's only the past that ceases. Oh, come on. I can hurt you. I'm militia, damn it. More of them. Is that all you got? Not stealth kill him? What well, sucks? Okay, well, where's my light machine gun? Hey. Come on. Hey, what's up, dude?
Oh. That's the last of it. Come down here. Koblen's camp has been attacked. Hey, Ricky. It's done. Thank God. All right. I'll let Boozer know. Ricky out. I feel like I've seen that logo before, Future 3D, but it looks alright to me. I don't see any problem with it. Okay. Uh, there's a camp here. I can make Deke rest there several times over. And you know what? I'll save and restart the game while I'm at it. Fuck it. Scorched Earth. Time is relative. Einstein figured that out a long time ago. Uh, yeah, keep out. I want in now, though, so. Thank you. Well, the thing about a logo featured th 3D is that it needs to be original, right? How do you know Einstein's actually dead, though? Have you seen his corpse, Jafficus? It's like Boozer says, I hear a bunk calling my name. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a bit. No, I think your logo looks fine, Future Girl 3D, but remember, people will confuse it for other people's logos if it's based off another logo. That's why logo design's so hard. Ready to go back at it. 
Why am I sleeping so much? I'm trying to despawn that godforsaken <laughs> fucking ranger <laughs> corpse. I'm gonna go through a couple of other extreme measures. You just wait. I appreciate your input, Future 3D. And, uh, the design looks good. It's time for extreme measures. Going to shut the game down. I'm going to boot it back up and I'm going to go grab a drink. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put on a jam for you.
I'm back. There's a fucking brown recluse in my bathtub, so I took out my aggression on him because he's poisonous and doesn't belong there. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, this is a load. Load of shit. Oh, here comes the progress bar. Okay, I'm pretty sure it just respawned everything. This is broke. It's going to get like three rings from the angry bell. Ooh, maybe go into a camp well too. That'll probably flash the memory because it has to load all these NPCs in. Hello, Project 20. How'd Project 19 go? I killed the shit something? out of that spider. He's Boss. so fucking dead. Not only did I mildly smash his thorax, but I also poured hot water on him and let him go down the drain. Should have new shit later. Stop by. Hello, Ryan. Deacon, good to see you. Shut Hello up, there. bitch. How's it going? Yeah, good. Now that's an upgrade. Okay. Yep. Uh, good choice. Uh, eh, eh. Okay then. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Leaving already? Yeah, I gotta go save Manny. Thank you, Coles. Got you. Okay, we definitely changed the spawn table. That 
That ranger corps better not be there. <laughs> well, I guess I wasn't avoiding that one. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake, video game. Give me just a, a little bit of a break at this point. I'm willing to fight all the hordes you want to send at me, but this is getting to be too much. Healed all this. something sorry no idea what i'm doing skip come on let's just go at least it's not far away Like they forged you down a path on this one. Cope, I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. I don't know what killed the sniper. Hey, I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? Just back up. Nice and slow. Don't make a sound.
Okay, let's get away from Manny's path. Away from where Manny goes. Oh, I missed. Here, have one of those. Now oh, slow him down. Uh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, sniper! So alive, for fuck's sake! I believe this little submachine gun has the highest DPS. You did it. Oh Jesus. It's clear. Now oh, walk, Manny. Never saw nothing like walk, that. Walk, you little bitch. You go. You fucking move. You're my hostage now. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. I, I do though. Last time. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? There he goes. I Fuck know. you! I've been on a run in months. Felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share. You know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Ah, Manny. You know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Uh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million, so... You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. I get the hell out of here. Yes, Manny, get the fuck out. Oh no, the sawmill. They're gonna they're gonna like go, oh my god, there's so many zombies. I already killed every zombie at the sawmill. It's done. There's all these like hordes I guess I wasn't supposed to have killed yet, but I totally did. And the game reacts to them like, oh, oh that was exhausting. A little slow. I said I would reserve judgment, but I also said if there was a huge glitch or something, I would uh, bitch about it. So, you know, here we are. Let's see how this goes. a mystery thing oh I better stop by no fuck that dig you're needed to the sawmill oh you, you're gonna have to fight it's gonna be such a tough ordeal oh my god They got no, me another horde, yay! Back. Manny gets back. <laughs> Tell him to keep his nose down. St. John out. Wait, what? All right, bro. 
brother, you're killing me. Where are you getting the creosote? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> it's, it's all good, I guess. There's a boss meter and everything. Holy yeah, I shit, do got dude. this. It's easy. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <laughs> I'll meet you there. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? Wait! Anger Bell! Angry! I killed that horde four fucking streams ago. And this is not a storyline reward. No, no, no. This is a horde killer reward. I killed that horde. Four streams ago. Hey, Deke, you there? Shut the fuck hey, up, Ricky. Ricky. What's up? Ricky. There's still some work I need to do on the truck. Uh, I'll radio you when it's ready. <clears throat> thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Dick, you sure you want to do this? They're coming, Ricky. Unless we take them off first. You're right. Okay, Ricky out. Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. But there's just one thing. Only a couple of bikers will pull a dumbass stone like this. It's just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn straight. <sighs> Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy. I appreciate it, but 
Loser and I, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. This, this is crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. And I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, we couldn't keep them away. Go! <laughs> got word you were planning a little road trip. To stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny, hey, you Deke? Nose down? Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Take you on damn fool errands. Get your ass shot off. Manny, listen up. This no is a... way. No way. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> kidding me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Deke. Hello, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, <laughs> but wishes she could be here. Yeah, I'll bet. But we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay, well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate. We're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate. And what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? Yeah. Well, I need to. Are we ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until that. Okay. All right, let's do this. Now I'm just going to put behind everything that happened and I'm just going to try to enjoy the finale, huh? Just settle down. Don't think about it too much. Angry Bell's been rang plenty of times. One more for the load screen. Going to go in. Goodbye, future, free, future 3D. Goodbye. Shot at this brother. Damn it, sir. Go. Get your old lady. Who's <laughs> up? One mad bell for the road. Also, D can't swim. Yeah, you know that old uh, PlayStation 4 Pro is real fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Loser. Why didn't you jump? Yeah. You should. You should have jumped. Loser. Oh god damn it, loser. Oh, like a nugget! It says booze man went boom. All that alcohol made sure he lit up nice and kill. good. Every goddamn one of you! Sarah, Sarah. This son of a bitch. Oh, that one wasn't mine. That was someone else's. Schizo. I'm coming, Schizo. Oh, well, now we gotta do it the hard way. Top of the cone. Gotta get to the top of the cone. Flamethrower. Shit, shit, shit. I gotta find the guys. On the uh, tower. I gotta take him out. I gotta take him out. Read this. I'm angry. Angry. Got to get past these guys. I'm 
almost there. Come on, come on, keep going. Any other ammo? I can use ammo. Can you hear me? Dick? We got him. We, 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 we got him. Dick! Dick! Ricky! Ricky! Oh, give him hell, Ricky. Burn him to the ground. I'm not really concentrating. I'm just more kind of pissed off and trying not to be a little bitch about it. Let's go! Uh, made it. Shoot him. Hang on, Sarah. Sniper. Oh, fucking god damn. Both the hell? God damn it, you hear that? Oh, hurry up! There. It's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's get back to the colonel. Come on. Captain Sarkozy, reporting in. We How many explosives did you say? 
kept. We didn't have time to set them all. What? God damn it! How many? Uh, it's, it's, it's three. Three, sir. Okay, okay. I'm going down to get the detonator from Weaver. Hold the cave entrance. You got that? No one gets down here. I got yes, it. sir. Understood, you. sir. No one gets down. And stay off this goddamn channel. You might have been compromised. Schizo. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three explosives. Oh, I gotta find them. Oh, my, the Colonel's Bible looks pretty well read. Now I'm just curious. Did they put anything up here? Nah, there's this big old generator up here. You never had well, you know, world building, whatever. Fuck it. Forget about it. Hey. Yeah, it's me. I'm here. Oh. Hi. Chuck out. Got it, disarm it. There. Okay, goddammit. it. Where's the others? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, I'm blind with anger. Gotcha. You got me. Come on, move in. We got him. Flank me. You're being flank. Uh oh, this guy's got jumpy legs. He's trying to go to the moon. Man, these guys are advanced. They're already starting a space program and everything. Oh, hey, what's going on? Get back down there. And climb back up. Come on. Come on, climb back up. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, get back up here. It's fun. Come on. Good job, Deke. You did it. Wait, did I miss one? You know what? I'm not going to think about it too much. <laughs> Here's the second one. Come on, you 
son of a bitch. There. Okay, that should do it. One more. Gotta find the last one. Here it is. Almost there, Schizo. Almost there. Careful, careful. Got it. That's it. Sorry, you're not blowing up shit today, Schizo. Not today. Where are you hiding? another one hey got two <laughs> oh that's fun all right uh craft one of them one of those another one of those Lieutenant, where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. We've, uh, come on, you know, we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? Weaver, where's the goddamn detonator? Give it to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't make me kill Schizo, you. you better let him go. Kill me, you ain't <gasps> yes, you son of a bitch. No. Fuck. Hey, hey. I let him up though. Whatever. Weaver, get the hell out of here. Go on, go. I've got some people coming out of the north gate. Go. Son of a bitch. You know that? Yeah. Well, I heard what you did, Nick. I heard what you did. Killing all those rebels. <laughs> oh, yeah. You drowned them like they was a bunch of fucking rats. You did the world a solid. I'll bet you that Iron Mike didn't see it that way. Did he? see reason but he just fucking wouldn't he just fucking wouldn't
Gizzo! We end this now! <clears throat> <laughs> Wait, what? Okay. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands! You got that? Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. Us. Do you hear me? God has ordained this place. This is consecrated ground. We are safe in this place. We are safe in this place. Why wouldn't Schizo keep a hand know. grenade on him? When or why? But I, uh, I saw something a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something, something I, I hadn't felt in a long time, and um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way, and I, I think that if we just can. Deacon. I'll have your side on. Sit. Let him go, Colonel. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing that would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs>
Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. <sighs> Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <sighs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't... Killed or wounded by the blast, pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it. Move it. Ricky, I need some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Move. Ricky. My leg. My leg. Yeah. Does anyone hear me? What do you need help with? Hey. Hope you say something for me. Boozer. Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you were... before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. <laughs> what? Kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batshit crazy one. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. Then I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Deke, hell of a fight. Yeah, that it was. Manny, oh shit, look who's still breathing. Nose down. Nose down. Keep it on your face that way. <laughs> Not bad for a drifter. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta go. Admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... You gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, well, give him hell, brother. Yeah, here it goes. Chuck would be proud. We did it. We did it. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but... 
Yeah. <laughs> never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. That's enough of that. Uh, what does it mean that they're all getting quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God, it's your cue. Son of <sighs> Zombies are bad. I don't like the zombies. We shoot them. Goodbye. I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm going to keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are. Make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters, yeah. the hell are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, um... He wants to Big Mike. That we make the world what it is by what we do. Hell yeah. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to give a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how was it? You know, it was, it was all right. We're an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride, old lady? I don't know. Depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want. <laughs> Yeah, Blast and Sugar, I think that flag was made out of the same stuff the Twin Towers are made out of. Oh, fuck. Ugh, gotta mute it. I'm gonna get copyright. Bullshit. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Maybe not. I'm keeping my finger on the mute button. I don't know what will happen. I like the game. It just has issues, man. It has issues. Like, what was that at the credits? I don't know. Here they are again. I think it's the ride back to Lost Lake or whatnot, but... I like the game, but, I mean, you saw... On that Copeland's camp is under attack thing. I killed the fucking bear and it was in the path of Manny and the mission was deadlocked and that bear was not going to despawn unless I did a bunch of bullshit. The hordes. They show you a reward. 
an extended magazine for a really good weapon, an extended magazine for a better weapon, but you'll never see those other hordes. Or at least I assume you'll never see those other hordes because I looked them up. I looked where they live. I found where they live. I went in where they lived. They're nowhere to be found. But then suddenly, after reloading, after that Manny mission crash, says hordes detected. And then I went to the sawmill where I killed a horde earlier, and a big boss meter came up that went horde killed, and then it gave me the magazine. So theoretically, I should have had that extended magazine before then, but it didn't give it to me because it meant for me to go to the sawmill to do that, right? So th these. This game has a lot of good systems, but they don't quite fit like there's there's problems uh pathing for certain npcs can be completely bugged out uh mission objectives can be bugged out the game crashed three times uh we saw a guy shoot up into the moon maybe that's more of a physics engine issue i don't know <clears throat> more often than not the weapon wheel would not match what i had Although that wasn't like a game breaking glitch. It's still kind of like, eh, really? Uh, let's see what else. A lot of texture pop in, a lot of pop in in general. I would have rather have ran this game at 1080p, 30 frames per second with less pop in than at 4K with the pop in that we get. Or 1080p 60 even. Why not give us the option? It's a PlayStation fucking Pro. I mean, it's nice that it runs at 4k i like that i enjoy that it runs at 4k it looks pretty it really does one of the better looking games i've ever seen but uh damn that's a lot of dead people oh jesus christ uh oh that's a lot of in memory of did all those people die during development is that what Oh, Jesus, fuck. I feel bad now. Oh, no. Sony Interactive Entertainment died and the... Oh, oh no. Never mind. <laughs> I, um... Look, I've played a lot of games, but usually it's like developers' babies or developers' pets. This one's like, rest in peace, 16 people. That, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was unsettling. Were they like on the, oh, did the credits lock up? Oh, okay. That would have been perfect. See, there you go. Nice little special thanks. Not like in loving memory of the 16 developers who died somehow. Dan autistically says a couple died, two shared last names. Yeah, F, press F. This game's cursed. <laughs> I like it. Maybe if those people. No, I'm not. No, I'm. I, I'm. I'm being disrespectful. Um. <clears throat> uh. Well, there you go, Land RTX said it. Um. Uh, well. I enjoy this game a whole lot. It has a lot of issues, but I enjoy it. That's about all I can say. It needs to be patched. Uh, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed. In 4K, the, the pop in here is uh, very noticeable at a distance. But, I mean, the far away scenery looks great. A lot of it looks really good. I would have preferred, again, and this goes for a lot of PS Pro games or PlayStation 4 games. I would have preferred a 1080p option. It's like you can turn it, you know, video quality or resolution. Neo had that, I, I believe. If Neo, I think. Like had performance and quality. <clears throat> why not? I can't think of why not. I, I mean, this will look just as good in... Uh, 1080p as it would in 4k it's impressive it's in 4k it's nice it's a checkerboard 4k by the way so it's got like double wide pixels here and there so it's not true 4k but i like it it just 
it needed like another year of development or something you know what i mean needed like another year for people to just like go over the whole fucking thing and refine it this game is like warm apple juice it's sweet it tastes decent but you kind of wish it was cold <laughs> he's in a wheelchair yeah i'm crippled well look i'm not disrespecting the dead but you gotta admit it's kind of weird to have like uh this many people died during development thing And I'm sure there's supposed to be music playing here, but I had the music turned off because I don't want to get, like, you know, fucking copyright strikes to hell, and you know that'll happen. But, well... The other issue this game has is that the PlayStation 4 Pro's hard drive kind of sucks. And that probably leads into some of the crashing and the popping and other things you see because it's it's struggling to pull all that data off the disk drive the ps4 has which i think is like some kind of hybrid ssd it's not even like a full-on and since it can't like pull that much data off it if it wants to change the scene it has to load in all this shit james moore says there won't be a days gone to uh it turns out Ben Studios is developing another game and they're hiring people right now. So I don't know where you heard there won't be another Days Gone 2, but there's actually a pretty high chance there will be. I'm not saying there's going to be. I'd say it's a bit premature to say there won't be. Apparently they made enough money to make another game. Unless they outright announced that they're not making a sequel to it. But I didn't see none of that. All I saw is that they're hiring. Grinchill, yeah, this is this has the Skyrim deal to where At least for me anyways. I love it, but you can't ignore that it's buggy. You can't tell people like, oh, it's a masterpiece, beautifully woven. And constructed from the ground up with the utmost care and love. I mean, maybe it is, but it, it still has, like, m missing pieces. Much like Skyrim has missing pieces. Uh, things that it does really well. I like the crafting. I like that if you just see something, you just hold down square and pick it up. And if you can't use something, the game just ignores it. It's like, nah, you don't need that. Uh, Skyrim fallout all those other games could have greatly benefited from uh you don't need this can't pick it up kind of thing it doesn't have an encumbrance system which back in the day it was kind of cool it's like damn i care i'm carrying so much stuff that i can't move any further right but i think it's much better to just give you enough room to carry what you need and then give you shit to burn it through on and maybe if, uh you don't have enough maybe you should have picked up more like you know what i mean encumbrance systems kind of suck it's like you're carrying too much now you're slow it's like i'm just gonna drop it anyways who actually goes past an encumbrance limit and like you know slowly crawls their way for an hour back to camp because they're carrying like 15 pounds too much shit that's dumb this game did it all right it's like ah there's a pipe on the ground there's some gunpowder there's this there's that and you just hold on square and pick it up that's good i like that because, uh, you know, I wasn't, like, constantly scouring for stuff. Uh, there's a few instances where I'm like, oh, camp. I guess I'll just, you know, pick up everything over there. And that's nice. But, uh, otherwise, no. Grim Chaos says, you put enough time into the game, you're likely to find glitches. True. But I didn't see this many glitches in Resident Evil 3. I didn't see this many glitches in Grand Theft Auto. I didn't see this many glitches in Breath of the Wild. And Breath of the Wild has plenty of glitches. Some which you might be able to argue are intentionally designed. Or maybe not really glitches, more like exploits. I didn't see Breath of the Wild freak out all that much, you know? It certainly didn't crash as much either. I guess you could also argue that Grand Theft Auto V, Breath of the Wild, and uh, well, those two games actually alone had more money put into them. But I mean, Skyrim had a lot of money put into it, and it's glitchy as all hell. So I don't even think money has quite 
all that much to do with it, much more than what engine are they using, how much time do they have to develop it, and who is working on it. Because, you know, you think like, oh, it's just money. No, it's definitely the people that work on it, too. Securing good talent that knows how these systems work, how to use Unreal Engine, how to use uh, <laughs> Gamebryo for Bethesda. All these people, there's a reason why Bethesda continues to use Gamebryo. Because the people that they have working there know it. And that's important. You would rather have a team work on an inferior, and you would rather have a team work on an antiquated inferior engine that know the engine up and down, inside and out, than a team work on a brand new fancy engine that they got to learn as they go. Like, bar none, it'll always work out better the other way. So, maybe they just didn't have a lot of experience in Unreal 4. I believe this is Unreal 4. It looks like Unreal 4. Maybe they didn't have enough time. Or maybe the people on the game were a bit green. And I'm thinking it may be the latter. Like, I've heard the joke. It's like, ha, huh, those guys worked on Bubsy 3D. It's like, this, this, all these people in these credits did not work on Bubsy 3D. These are... A lot. Of, I would be surprised if more than 10 people who worked on Bubsy 3D are in the credits here. It would be very, very unlikely. It's kind of like 989 Studios. Anybody remember 989 Studios? They made a lot of games, but it wasn't the same people. It's just a company. It's kind of like saying, you know, oh, my friend worked at a McDonald's, so you can't go to the McDonald's in California or New York because my friend in Georgia worked at a McDonald's, and that McDonald's is fucked up. It doesn't quite work that way. These aren't indie studios. I guess at the end of the day, I got to say I love this game, but I can't argue when somebody says, uh, day's gone. Uh, I'm like, yeah, I know. But it has a lot of good things going for it. The gunplay's pretty good. Uh, the stealth is fun. You wouldn't expect it to be a stealth game, but you can play it as a stealth game. And you don't have to play as a stealth game. And there's not very... Actually, no, there's no... Yeah, there's not very many sequences. There's the Nero sequences, but... Outside of the Nero choppers... There aren't any sequences where it's like, well, you have to be stealth. Kind of like Metal Gear Solid 5 in that respect. If you just want to go in and just shoot the fuck out of everything, you can do it. <laughs> Create a product service, CPS. I'm going to call CPS on you. Then I'm going to call CPS Sound on you. Oh, it's a Japanese company. That's why, they didn't, that's why they're using that acronym. They don't realize the American implication of like, I'm going to call CPS Video. Child Protective Services. Anyhow. Shit, there's a Japanese voiceover? Fuck, man, I need to, like... I need to swap my PlayStation over to ja Jap Japanese and fucking... I want to hear... I want to hear Japanese Iron Mike and Japanese Schizo. I wonder how this game did in Japan. Grim, I found major glitches in the, almost every game I've played too, but there's certain games where you really gotta try hard to find them, you know what I mean? In this game, it is inevitable. If you play this game from start to finish, you will find a glitch to where there's other games I've played to where you can play from start to finish and you won't see a single one. So, and I, I'm an ardent defender of this game uh, uh, to a point anyways. I like it. I really do, but it does have problems. And I can't take the I can't take the stance of like, well, every game has its bugs. Well, yeah. But they're like one percent of the people are gonna run into this one piece of geometry in just the right way while a bomb explodes, it's gonna send them through the wall or something like that, you know? I went through the entirety of Doom 2016. I never executed a possessed near a wall close enough to have it put me through a wall but then i played wolfenstein to the new colossus and did a wall breach immediately what's the difference well i don't know uh probably more time putting a doom 2016 but more likely not just chance however in this game you will stumble upon them no matter what 
It is unlikely that you'll play, for example, uh, I don't know, Super Mario Brothers 3 and have like, you know, Super Mario freak the fuck out, you know? It's just very unlikely. But open world games are kind of rife with them. Now that you mention it, I can't think of an open world game that's clean. Like, you know, a 3D open world game. Right myself there. I know some 2D open world games that are clean, but as far as 3D open world games, it seems like you get glitches. But I, I would also say that has to go with uh, the, the fact that you couldn't make a totally clean, flawless, doesn't have a single glitch in it open world game without spending like six or eight years on it. Like you'd have to spend nearly a decade because you got to make a world and make it work. You know what I mean? And that means going over it and over it and over it and over it. Every mission has to play correctly. Every piece of geometry has to be perfect. And every little thing that loads in has to be utterly fucking perfect. Fell through the floor repeatedly in Doom 2016. Might be a hardware issue if you're on PC. Because I've played through it several times without a single glitch. But I am aware of the boundary breaking that you can do. But to compare to compare Doom 2016 to what we've seen here is a little bit much. Also, I, I still have not like played Mario 3 or whatever and had it like fuck out. There's plenty of games that don't fuck out like that. Oh, you're getting near the end of the credits. I like the crickets. Well, in RTX, yeah, it's hard to make an open world with such a massive area that doesn't have any, like, collision errors, for one. But the main thing is it would just take so long you'd miss a console generation. That's probably why Grand Theft Auto V was released on the PS3 and the 360, but was really probably made for the Xbox One and PS5. They probably thought, fuck it, generational gaps coming up, let's just ride it. And uh, I guess they thought the same with Metal Gear Solid Five as well. Because when you play those games, they're clearly meant for the higher end systems and the ones that you play, like 360 Grand Theft Auto Five are, are especially like downloaded PS3 GTA Five. Oh, it runs nasty. It's bad. I'm not good. You play it on a PS4 regular or just regular Xbox One, look pretty all right. Play it on, uh, well, you get the point. But no, uh, yeah, I know every game has its bugs, but come on, man. <laughs> I like this game, but there are bugs like galore here. It's an infestation. And I suppose if you run into bugs in every single game that you play, it may have more to do with your hardware than anything else. Nobody's like gifted as the bug seeker. You're doing max settings with power to spare. That might be part of it, uh, Grim. There's a lot of games I've played to where if you play them in 4K, they are much more prone to error because they're not really meant to run with that kind of horsepower behind it that is to say not everything can be solved with just power right i can load i can load uh, i don't know 11 gigabytes worth of no let's not say 11 let's say I can load 8 gigabytes onto the RAM of a graphics card that has 11 gigabytes, but unless the engine is ready for that 8 gigabytes, I'm going to run into some issues. More likely than not. That being said, I, I still just uh, don't... I just haven't seen it. I don't know. I've ran into plenty of bugs in games myself, but not every game. Not every single one of them. Eh, that's a bit much. And comparably, this game has more bugs than most others. Like, I don't feel that's disputable in any sort of way. As much as I like the game, it has issues, is what I'm trying to say.
and I have said about a thousand times, I suppose. And it just needed another year, man. It needed another year. It needed something. Like, I can see a lot of love went into the game, and I, I like it. I, I even like the story. For a B, B movie kind of like, story is pretty good. I kind of figured it was going to end at Iron Mike's. But, you know, you go into the crater, and uh, oh, yeah, there we go. Unreal Engine, Unreal 4. See, I would say that here's your pri here's your main culprits for the, the errors that you're running into right here. Unreal Engine, Doodle, Rev, Tech, Dyna, Font. Well, that's just a font, but who knows? And uh, Harley Davidson. Well, I think another year would have helped out. But it looks like they're just going to move on to another game, and I'm sad to see that, but... I suppose if it's the option of a new game or if it's the option of them patching this and then going out of business or making a new game, then there is no choice. It's got to move on. Oh, that's another open world game, Grim. Dying Light. Yeah. You know, we're running into some glitches in the open world games, especially online games, too. And look. I can just tell from their credits. They really fucking worked hard on this. I would be surprised if they weren't put through massive fucking crunch and a lot of issues. They even put the little Death Stranding baby in the game, like, after the Death Stranding game came out. So they're, they've, they're still functioning. They're probably still patching shit for all I know. But, uh, well. What can I say? The game needs work. And it's not going to get it. Not enough, anyways. So hopefully their next uh, game, whatever Ben Studio makes next, they learn some lessons and they move forward and uh, maybe, I don't know. It's too complicated for me to like give an in-depth analysis on, right? I can't like, I can't get the source code and look at it in Unreal and go, oh, look at this and I'm fresh and but Congratulations on completing the story of Days Gone. Deacon has defeated the Milita and reunited with Sarah, but there's still so much to do. Continue your ride on the broken road, upgrade your bike, discover additional Nero locations, complete more storylines, and unlock all the collectibles. Thank you for playing Days Gone Team. You know what? I'll say this, though. I enjoy this more than Red Dead Redemption too because once you beat red dead 2 it's just it's basically done you know what i mean kind of for the most part i mean you can still explore around and all that but it's kind of done uh goodbye jock and thanks for dropping by um breath of the wild same deal once you beat ganon the game's done nothing else to do this game it's like game's done but uh feel free to ride around there's also extra missions it isn't technically all the way done yet you gotta find your damn rings this good nobody questioned my baby yeah you know, right all the way out here blizzard island and find your damn rings and there's some extra stuff with that and then eventually you get a call from nero and come up here and a really cool secret ending happens and there's still more to go and I never saw the horde that was over here. Never fucking showed up. So I'm questioning. Man, I rode all around this fucking area. Like, there's supposed to be one over here. Never fucking saw it. Maybe we'll come back and do a cleanup stream in the future and just be like, all right, let's do the rest. But I mean, I think for now that's good. Besides, I'm nearly at six hours anyways.
Yeah, Land RTX, I agree. The ending for Breath of the Wild does kind of suck. It just, it just kind of, it just kind of ends. It's like, oh, you beat Ganon, da -da 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 -da, and then you're done for. This one's like, oh, hey, you know, we gotta, we gotta get Deke's rings back because he had his rings taken away. We can go fight hordes. And again, there's a little secret ending that pops up if you uh, fuck about in the world afterwards, but. I'm going to bitch about one more thing. <laughs> and this is something that has stuck with me for a while. When I played the game, I did not realize the rewards for destroying hordes. I just kind of figured, oh, fuck a horde. Well, I better watch out for those. Maybe kill them if I want EXP or whatnot. But it, uh, then it gave me an SP SMP9. I'm like, oh, oh, the SMP9. That's the submachine gun handgun, the really good one. So I got that. I was like, hey, just a few more. I get an auto shotgun. I wonder how that performs. I got that. That's one of the best weapons in the game. A little bit more. I got an SMP mag up, magazine upgrade. Made it one of the better weapons in the game. Uh, you could probably go through the majority of the game with that. Actually, I just, I did go through the more majority of the game with that. You don't need another handgun after that. You defeat like, I don't know, six hordes. You have all the weapons you need to beat the game. You actually don't really need anything more. So then you get the IDF pup and you're like, oh, well, shit. That's pretty good. And then you do a little bit more. It's like, I got an MG-55. Well, goddamn, that's really fucking cool. And then there's the idea of pump mag upgrade. You're like, I really want that. At that point, you're kind of hooked on it, right? You're like, oh, shit. More guns. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm going to hunt more hordes. But it kind of deadlocks at the sawmill. I killed the sawmill horde before I even realized. Well, a little bit after I realized I wanted to kill hordes. Got no reward for killing the sawmill horde. Not at all. Until the very end of the game, to where it sends you to the sawmill, and then it just, boom, got it. And it gave me the magazine upgrade, which I'm happy to get, and that's fine and all that, but I would have preferred to use that during the finale of the game. The end of the game is when I would have preferred to use that. That would have been nice. But I, I wasn't able to get that, and there's nothing to indicate that that's how that would go down. Now, I, they don't have to tell you everything, but when the carrot on the stick is a lie and you never get the carrot, or maybe rather you get the carrot after you just fucking give up. Well, that's just frustrating. Like you got to be able to get the fucking carrot eventually. They just keep the carrot on the end of the stick and you keep crawling until you fucking pass out and they just throw the carrot at you and go, here's your fucking carrot, bitch. That's going to leave most people with a kind of a, kind of a sour experience, especially when the idea is searching all over the place and looking for like, uh, I don't know, uh, areas like, oh, there's blood patch here. You go, oh fuck, there's probably a horde there because of that blood patch. Look at this, a corpse pit, burial pit, hordes usually over there. And you spend like an hour zooming around here in your fucking motorcycle because you want horde shit. And you don't find no horde. Like that is frustrating when you're doing it for the express purpose of getting these upgrades. So there's little things like that to where if you take a focus, it's not just like barreling through the story mode. It's not quite as fun as it could be. Or it's not that it's not quite as fun as it could be. It's just kind of frustrating, you know? So, you know, I like this game, and I guess we'll come back and do a uh, a little extra playthrough or something. Not an extra playthrough, I'm sorry. I'm not playing this a second time all the way through. But what I will do is uh, maybe come back and finish off the hordes and get the rings and show off the secret ending. Maybe later, like way later. See, like there's still like a couple of things here and there. Just a few things. A few leftover storylines and leave after the credits. I like that. I, I kind of like that they leave a couple of things left over for you post-game. That's nice. It's not bad. I don't mind it. 
it's mainly the horde thing uh i guess and just to reiterate the horde thing made me upset because i wanted to work really hard to earn something but they didn't tell me that it was impossible for me to earn no matter how hard i tried it it's not nice <laughs> that's not a nice thing to do and i guess i should have known this since this is my second playthrough but my first playthrough is much more enjoyable because i didn't go for this because i didn't think to i was just like oh, i'll take care of the hordes later and i progressed with the story and i played it normal and i didn't you know keep too much of a focus on trying to maximize my character's power but in this scenario it's utterly impossible for you well for at least as far as i can tell it's completely imp if it's not impossible then the only other potential thing is that those hordes sometimes just aren't there and i guess that's fair enough but uh that it doesn't really do a good job of communicating to you that that's impossible you know it'd be like if some of these ambush camps uh didn't appear well maybe they don't for all i know but look even at 93 percent complete you still get like all the weapon upgrades and shit this one dangles some real tasty stuff at the end of a stick and you, you ain't allowed to have it until you know this point and it's kind of frustrating, man. It's real, real fucking frustrating. Make, make a guy like me angry. Maybe it's because I'm a little bit hungry, though. Maybe I'd be a little bit less hungry, a little bit less angry if I had something to eat. Angry is a bad word to choose. I'm not angry. Frustrated is a little bit better. I still love the game too. I'm not like, oh, I fucking hate the game. No, 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 no. Uh, I played it too much. I love it. Alan Johnson says, seeing CHD has called you back to generals, the community needs you. You know what, Alan Johnson? Maybe I should come back. We could do generals in 4K 60. Well, not that game doesn't run 60 frames per second. But we could do generals in 4K resolution. That could be fun. I wouldn't mind that. I mean, we're done here for the most part. The main game's over. Maybe I'll boot it back up one day out of nowhere and go days gone time again we'll just call it like the wrap-up stream and i can just come and wipe out these hordes have a good old zombie killing time finish up a couple of plot, plot threads and be like whoa secret ending just as a way to show well a way to have fun but also show some respect for the game because despite everything despite the fucking glitch on that last copeland mission despite the game crashing three times despite the horde issue with them not appearing or maybe not spawning till later uh the issue with um the weapon wheel having is uh just not showing the right shit despite all that i still love the game a whole lot and I would recommend it at 20 bucks, you know, if it's, a, if, if, if it's for 20 bucks right now, you could do way worse than that for 20 bucks. Trust me. But then again, Doom 2016, 20 bucks as well, isn't it? So, uh, I, last time I played this game was a year ago, a whole year ago. Meaning they had time to fix it. They may not have the resources to fix it, but I can say with all certainty now, it's not going to be fixed. Like there, if there is something to be fixed, it ain't happening. It's not going to be fixed. It is what it is. And we just got to accept it. That's okay. That's fine. I can recommend it if you like open world games and zombie games and you don't mind some bugs and glitches if you don't like open world games if you don't like zombie games and if bugs and glitches really fuck your head up then in that case you should absolutely fucking avoid it but if you do like zombie games if you do like open world games and if you do like uh uh, if, if you can tolerate a glitch here and there and still have a good time and not just want to throw it out the window, then this is a real solid game. It can be really, really, really fun. Real fun. But, uh, 
you know, issues crop up. Grim brings up a good point. He says part of his issues with glitches could be putting 15 hours into a game on a day off. Yeah, the longer you play a game, the less stable it's going to get for sure. Uh, I get that with the audio software. Uh, if I leave Audition open or if I play around with Premiere for like 10 hours, it will inevitably crash as the memory, something will fuck up. Some subsystem will shit out. You got to like save your progress and quit. That's what they always say, right? That's what you always do. You save every 30 minutes. If not more frequently, you save every time you do something. It's like, oh, I did something big. Time to save. Saved. Otherwise, you lose all your fucking progress, right? So, I don't think it's fair to go, uh, the game crashed once. It's garbage. No, but on the same end, there's some design choices that are questionable. There are more crashes in this game than usual. Uh, I can bring up a good example. People complain about Adobe Animate. And a lot of people prefer to animate an Adobe CS6. And why is that? Well, it crashes less. It still crashes, but it seems with every new iteration of Flash, they make it worse and worse as far as crashes go. So that's worth considering. Uh, it probably isn't built to be played more than, you know, two or three hours at a time. However, some of the cutscenes last for like what feels like 20, 30 minutes, which is still a lot of time out of your day, you know? So, I think this game could have used more work, but it also may be a case of they built a very large game in Unreal Engine 4, probably one of the bigger Unreal Engine 4 games I've seen. Pretty huge, and has a lot of really cool systems to it. But, uh, I'll never explore this little area over here. Huh. Well, anyways. It's a nice game. I just wish it didn't crash so much. I wish... I wish the storylines progress thing was more accurate about the horde killer thing. That's a... That's a real kick to the balls. It's nice to say at least name them, though. You know, credit where it's due. If I had a question about which horde to go after next, like, which horde should I go after next? And I was like, man, fuck, I'm going to look at a strategy guide. They at least name the hordes. That's okay. Ah, it's a good game. It just... It just needed some work. So, uh, that's the end for now. Uh, we'll come back at some undeterminable point in the future, but I'm going to go and give it a rest for now because we've completed the main campaign. I know what comes up next, and that would be a whole stream within itself. Uh, there's, an there's another solid, like, counting, killing all the hordes, and I guess taking care of that last ambush camp, which is probably in that area that I didn't go to, and just kind of cleaning up on this game. There's probably another good three hours to go roughly and they come up with a couple more missions here and there i think the game perpetually likes just starts popping up missions from like tucker and copeland and all that so you could i think theoretically just go around forever and also uh there's a challenge mode but i okay you know what again credit where it's due even if uh even if you took everything i said into consideration this game still has something that Resident Evil 3 doesn't have, and that's a uh, fully fledged challenge mode. And it's a good one. Well, when it's done loading, oh yeah, loading times are atrocious. But I mean, what are they gonna do? It's a, they're working within the PlayStation hardware. That's more of a hardware issue than a software issue. But survive the horde as long as possible. Burn nest and survive the horde. Ride to crazy willies. Survive as long as you can against your enemies. So you know, people with guns and all that. Uh, you know, ride your bike and pick up a bunch of bandages. Kill a horde within three minutes. Uh, just try to get to Pioneer Cemetery as fast as you can. Take out an ambush camp as fast as you can. Clear out a horde as quickly as you possibly can. Survive until the sun comes up. Survive as long as possible, which means it just doesn't stop, which you know, that'd be fun. And then uh, pick up and drop off survivors, which I think has you driving around in the fucking golf cart. 
I know it says it's a bike challenge. Fuck if I know, man. Fuck if I know. That, that's basically crazy taxi. It's got it. You know what I mean? Uh, I would have. I played through Resident Evil Three, and it didn't have a good mercenaries mode in it. It, it, it was just kind of, just kind of ends. You don't really have all that much extra to do. You can play through on a harder difficulty if you want to. This you can beat it, and then you can come here and do this. And in addition to that, they give you a little bit of uh extra here. If you beat a mode, you get these uh, biker patches that permanently increase your you know stuff in the game. I had ten percent melee durability increase. 10% focus regeneration, 7% stamina efficiency, and 5% focus efficiency because I did a few of these. You get a lot of other bonuses as well, and that's nice. Uh, bike slows down less from running over enemies. This would be a fun one to have cranked out anyways just to run stuff over. But, um... Yeah, I'm real... I haven't been so split on a game before to where I want, really want to say, yeah, it's fucking great, man. I love it. Ah, yeah. Mm. And then I play it and something real, sh really, <laughs> really fucking shitty happens. And, uh, I got to look at it and go, yeah, this game, I love it. Ugh. Ah, fuck, man. I, I think I've just said the same thing like a thousand times over. Oh, uh, well, it is what it is. Oh no, it's not. It isn't. It isn't is what it is. It's just. It's just days gone. Uh, it's good for you if it's your thing. If it ain't your thing, it ain't your thing. But you don't need me to say that. I want to recommend it, but I feel like it's one of those games to where I could only recommend it to somebody if I already know what their tastes are. I couldn't recommend it to a stranger. I could recommend it to somebody who I know with enough caution, but I couldn't go up to a complete stranger and be like, hey, hey, buddy, you get a, you should get hyped for Days Gone. Why don't you get hyped for it? Get some hype going. This isn't a game to hype up. It's a game that if it syncs with you, you're going to love it despite its flaws. If it doesn't sync with you, you're going to get frustrated and go oh, i'd rather play red dead or breath of the wild or some other open world game i like it but it's not for everybody that's what it is oh you're not wrong motozua i wouldn't call this a guilty pleasure either i love it uh don't feel guilty about that at all but if I tell somebody, hey, I'm going to go play Days Gone, and they're like, uh, Days Gone, I, I can't be like, what do you mean, uh, Days Gone? It's fucking good. It, every, <laughs> you can come up with a ton of valid complaints about it. So, I don't know, man. Uh, I like it. I guess that's all that matters at the end. If I like it, then I can play it and have fun. But, you know, you're watching me stream this, so... You'd probably be curious what I think, or maybe a little bit at least. I don't know. That's my thoughts. Also pretty tired and hungry, so I'm, I'm going to go fuck off. Uh, you guys have a good morning, or shit, this afternoon, man. We're well, well, we're well fucking past morning. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you again soon. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for watching. If you're here all the way through the entire thing, you're, you're crazier than I am. But uh, I hope you had a good hope you had a good morning uh there's a goodbye to the fucking anger bell goodbye angry bell yep goodbye and uh thank you to all those who tipped garzette dragon bomb neiman banana man jn and lucky nugget i appreciate you very much and that's it for days gone for now like i said might come back and do some other stuff later but i think We've done enough days gone for now. We'll give it a bit of a fucking rest. You know what I mean? Just kind of calm down on that. Maybe do some stuff with friends, some online games, that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So that's going to be it. Have a good... Man, I've lost track of time. Have a good afternoon. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.